trust. Come see for yourself why people know the Q works for me. It's more than a slogan. It's a commitment to their customers. Queensboro National Bank and Trust, proud supporters of Georgia Southern University. Freedom just touches down on the arm of Steve Hine at the 10-yard line, and that means we are ready to play football here in 2013. Welcome back, everybody. Chris Blair, Terry Harmon, Ryan Chambers, Russ Brown, Colin Lacey at the booth, along with the straw stirring the drink back at Network Control. Miss Christy Maxwell. Long time coming. I tell you what, we had a little delay expected to start at 6 o'clock. We're going to start at about 625. But Terry Harvin, Georgia Southern fans known for years, over 30 years of being a late arriving crowd. It seems that maybe this lightning delay, people had to leave the stadium and then come back. Maybe everybody will be here by kickoff. Maybe hey, a good thing. Just gave them a chance to freshen up their drinks. If they come back, it's going to be awfully humid, folks. I see the fans starting to go at 6.30. Kickoff scheduled in three minutes and 50 seconds. And the humidity is increasing, and I can see the fans going. It's exciting as the Georgia Southern football players get ready to run through uh, Southern Pride here. It's exciting times. People are starting to get on their feet, Chris. And I, I tell you, people have been waiting for this day for an awfully long time, and we feel like we have some unfinished business. Business. I think that's been the motto for Coach Munkin and company. Two straight years. In fact, three yeah. straight years going to the NCAA FCS. They have un been un unable to hit that seventh flag, and now with the transition to FBS, that opportunity is gone. But as I said in the outset, and I've said, and the coaches have said for months, when you come to Georgia Southern, you come because you win football games. All that other stuff comes when you win football games. The mission is no different when they start this campaign in transition. You expect to win. There's this famous thing that uh, Coach Monk has been talking about. We are supposed to win. And when you come to Georgia Southern, you get a championship ring and you get a diploma. Coming up, we'll get the live toss of the coin down on the field. As the captains for both teams will introduce you in just a moment and the officiating crew. But now let's get the live toss of the coin. Go down on the field with Ryan Chambers. Okay, gentlemen, the coin that we're going to use today has a SOCON loop on the top of it. The bottom it says hail. Okay? Yes, sir. Be sure you give it to a trainer or one of your coaches to keep it for you, okay? Okay, and your call is going to be what? Yes. He's called tail. I drop it, I will do it again. The call is tail. If it is tails, you win the talk. I want the ball. Savannah State has won the toss. They will elect to receive. Captains representing Georgia Southern, Jarek McKinnon, along with William Banks, Kyle Olbeck, and Blake Riley. The toss is finished up here at the 50 yard line today's officiating crew presented by Dr. Horace Deal and Vision Source professional eye care of Statesboro when making the right call remember your vision cannot be compromised schedule an appointment today with Dr. Horace Deal visit him online at drdeal.net that's drdeal.net Dr. Horace Deal and Vision Source professional eye care of Statesboro the official team eye doctor of the Georgia Southern Eagles As they make their way on to Glenn Bryant Field for the first time in 2013. Eagles make their way to the near sideline and their legendary tops in blue, white pants, Georgia Southern blue helmets. Savannah State, the visiting team will be in all white tops and bottom, orange helmet, orange numerals. Carrying their black flag with them, Chris. Something Coach Monkey and team brought out two years ago. About time for the Uniforms, best looking team in America, of course, Georgia Southern Eagles. Keep your team looking its best by taking your clothes to greener cleaners in Statesboro. Of course, utilizing a revolutionary and environmentally friendly process, greener cleaners. Keeping your clothes clean, fresh, and green. Stop by on Northside Drive in Statesboro online at boroughgreenercleaners.com. Just about set for the start. 15 minutes put up on the board. Again, a good crowd expected. I think Terry's got more live reads if you need them. <laughs> Savannah State, just a short trip up I-16, have brought a smattering, I'll say, of purple and orange across the way. Georgia Southern 
students in full force. Southern Pride, as Terry mentioned, is here. And the alumni side at Paulson Stadium, again, as I said, they came early, had to be removed because of the lightning threat. And then they came back with reckless abandon. So we may have close to capacity here before kickoff, which is a very rare sight at Allen E. Paulson Stadium. People seem to love the tailgating lot. Yeah, I don't blame them. And again, the rain, to, the lightning delay just gave an opportunity to go outside and freshen up the drink and get ready to go again. But Savannah State, uh, they have a decent fan base. They came out today, like you mentioned, a short drive from Savannah. And Savannah State always has some great athletes, some great coaches in the past. Legendary Bill Davis. Love Bill good coach uh, the late Bill Davis but I remember playing against Savannah State when the Shannon Sharp was here and they gave us all we could ask for and then some and it looks like uh, Hanks is getting ready to kick it off there Chris you talked about Hanks in the pregame kicking off this year first half kickoff presented by Heritage Bank of the South 20 locations across the state of Georgia two convenient locations in Statesboro do business with people you know Heritage Bank of the South there for you then here for you now find out more by logging on to eheritagebank.com it'll be Alex Hanks he'll kick it away left to right here's the approach on its way and we've got football in Statesboro high end over end kick fielded at about the four yard line Simon Hayward the senior going far side hit in the hip at about the 13 yard line he'll be dropped there Georgia Southern great coverage on teams as Dominic or Darius Sappard got down to make the stop but a good good hanging high kick by Alex Hanks that was easy it's easy for me to say yeah. Jerry Harvin easy to get that coverage team down there Savannah State will have their first offensive drive as they move right to left on your dial just underway first quarter first down and 10 they mark it just inside the Tigers very own 14 yard line they'll spread the field two receivers right two to the left side playing from the right hash Shotgun snap, Prunty stands in the pocket, fires short stuff, slant, caught up across the 20 to the 20-yard line. Kyle Olbeck, the linebacker, making the stop. It'll be the Reginald Beals on the catch. That's a pretty good pickup there. Oh, yeah, it was. Of about six yards. It'll set up second down and a short four. They'll say three. Air raid assault from Ernest Wilson the third. Did so at Jackson State and also at coaching stints at Hampton. Likes to throw the ball around the yard. Prunty out of a shotgun. High snap. Under control. Throws far side. Receiver open. Simon Hayward had it in his hands, but he heard footsteps, and out came the alligator arms, and he drops it at the first down sticks. Lavelle Westbrook's in the area. Applying pressure. It's incomplete. Sets up third down and a long three. So far, I like this quarterback. Leon Pretty, a big kid freshman. Red-shirted, 6 foot 4, 220. Good release. Good presence in the pocket. Snaps have been a little off so far the first two big third down here third down three at the Tiger 21 yard line 14 19 to go first quarter just underway from Paulson Stadium this time jumbo set they'll have one receiver off to the right side again out of the gun is Prunty Eagles show they're coming here's the handoff on the draw not much doing to the 21 as Tay Hicklin the middle linebacker coming in to make the stop running back was Beals and he will be short by about Two and a half yards. It'll set up fourth and a long two and a half, or rather long two with 13.57 to go, and that will force the Tigers to come out and punt it away. Good play by the sophomore out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, showing his speed. Punter stands on his own five yard line. Trey Butler back to receive. Butler on his 40. High snap. John, John Barron will kick it away. It was a high snap, just got off the leg and goes nowhere. Up across the 30 to the 32. Don't know if anybody got a hand on it. Looked like it just came off the left side of his foot. Maybe a little fingertip, that's all. But uh, the Eagles get a hand on it and they'll have great field position on their opening drive as the ball placed at the Tiger 31 yard line. Not the execution you want from special teams if you're coach, coach Ernest William, Wilson. No, I mean, and, and, and when you don't have time to work with a team, sometimes what you're going to see is poor special teams. And that was a combination of a snap and a punter panicking because he got some pressure and it just came off his foot and it got tipped. Trey Butler, Jonathan Bryant in the flex bone at slot back. It'll be Jarek McKinnon under center. Dominique Swope, your B-back as the Eagles open up in the flex bone. Opening drive of the game, moving left to right on your dial. First down and 10 inside the 32-yard line of the Tigers. 
Here's the snap. McKinnon going left. He'll decide to keep, and he's dropped just inside the 31. Pretty good coverage that time by Savannah State. Alfred Ansley, the sophomore out of Jacksonville, got to McKinnon first. That time the Tigers doing a very good job, Terry, staying at home, took away the pitch opportunity. You know, if you can take away form, but you can't take away speed, and what they did was he did a good job. We talked about the pregame getting penetration, and that's exactly what Ansley was able to do. Trey Butler again, Bryant, the A back, here's the give on the dive to Swope. Stays on his feet, coming near side, still upright, gets down to the 20-yard line. He's got a Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Marquis Smith makes the stop for the Tigers, but what a hole on the right side of that offensive line, a very veteran offensive line. Crockett and Butler out there leading the way with the blocks. And the Eagles looking at first down and 10 now at the Tiger 20-yard line as they get inside the red zone presented by the clubhouse. Here's the dive again to Swope, knocking off defenders inside the 15, eventually brought down inside the 12. Eagles enter the clubhouse red zone. The clubhouse, proud supporter of Georgia Southern Athletics, Statesboro's headquarters for catching all the games, over 50 TVs at a brand new restaurant and bar. The clubhouse says, go Eagles. It'll be second down and two. Swope picking up eight yards on the carry. The junior out of Buford, Georgia, as the Eagles look at second down and two at the 12. Option left side, pitching the hole to Bryant, put the ball on the floor, picks it on the hop, but it'll be dropped by Savannah State. Frederick Fluker got to him after the stutter step, and that time Bryant just did not follow it in. But good pursuit that time up the middle, Terry. They got to McKinnon quick. The pitch not as clean as I'm sure he would like it to have been. Well, and Coach Monk is not very pleased with Bryant as he switches him out real quickly. Not very happy, just not looking the ball in, and very fortunate on that to get the ball back. Third down, ball on the uh, 13. Third down and three. Devin Scott checks in. They'll try the jet toss far side, and again, Savannah State in great position. Position. They'll force Scott out wide on the far side. Ansley again, the safety coming up and really untouched, able to get down on the corner. And Devin Scott nowhere to go. And that'll back it up. And the Eagles now look at fourth down and six. They'll mark it at the 16 yard line. And it looks like the Eagles will come on, try to put one through the uprights. It'll be Connor Tierney, the freshman out of Augusta, Georgia. Looking at about a 33-yarder hash mark left side. Kicking left to right. Wind at his back. Here's the snap. Set is down. Kick is up. Plenty of leg on its way. It's no good. Wide right. And the Savannah State Tigers hold. The Eagles start that drive at their 31-yard line and come up empty. Score remains 0-0. This will be a media timeout. Here in the first quarter, we'll take a timeout. We'll return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. Season opener, no score. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern Football. Take a little AC up here. First down and 10 at the 20-yard line. The Eagles, six plays on their opening drive. Stall at the 16 yard line and then missed on a 32 yard field goal by Connor Tierney. Score 0 0. Savannah State will take back possession. First down and 10 at their own 20. Brunty out of the gun. He's got one back to the right side. Again, the air raid assault will send two receivers short side of the field to the right, two to the wide side to the left. Four man, now five man front for the Eagles. Quick pass out to the near side. It's incomplete at the 19 yard line. We're looking for Jake Durham, Deion Stanley coming in on coverage. Incompletion sets up second down and 10 at the 20 yard line. Time now to send it down to the field. Ryan Chambers has the Knox Pest Control sideline report. Ryan, boy, I tell you what, it does feel a little humid here in the booth. I can only imagine what it feels like it out on the field. Yeah, and the temperature's uh, about to the peak. You'll start to see that go down. As far as the temperature turned up on the Savannah State youngsters, especially on the right side of that offensive line, be interested to see how they run block. You know, on the third down, they didn't look too good. We'll see if they continue to improve there. Second down, 10 at the 20. Far side hash, tacking right to left. Shotgun to Prunty. In the pocket, has time. Swing pass, far side. Caught at the 15. Across the 20 and end over end. Brought down at about the 24-yard line. LaReginald Beals on the catch. Tripped up by Lavelle Westbrooks, the corner out there on the left side. A pretty good pickup. That's the way the air raid works. Raphael Hardy as well. Defensive end getting the start today. The freshman out of Kingsland, Georgia, in on coverage as well. But that's what the air raid assault does. You don't have a great running game, but you pick up three, four, five yards at a clip with the quick hitting screens. Third down and six at the 24-yard line for the Tigers. Split backfield, one to each side. Prunty out of a gun. 
Two receivers just off the line to the left and staggered. Here's the shotgun snap. Rolling for his life and back footed throw far side at the 30 yard line looking for more. It's over his head and incomplete into the Tiger bench. It'll set up fourth and six at the 24 yard line. Jonathan Battle doing a very good job of getting the quarterback's face. Flag on the plane. It's going to be a holding call against Savannah State. The first penalty of the day as the Eagles coaches indicating to decline it. Big third down is going to bring up fourth down for Savannah State, Chris. Holding. Number 77 at offense. That penalty is declined. Results of the play will be fourth down. No surprise decline on that one. Sets up fourth down and six. 10 19 to go here in the first quarter. Again, the Eagles' first possession, great field position at their own 31 yard, or rather, Savannah State's 31 yard line. Six plays, picked up 15 yards. Then had to try the field goal, and again, the kicking woes continue from last year as they miss from 32 yards out. John Barron will punt it away from the 10. This time he does get it off. It's high in the air, not very deep, but a fair catch called for at the 45-yard line by Trey Butler. Butler to the redshirt junior out of Stockbridge, Georgia. And the Eagles will start first down and 10 for their own 46-yard line. A little more composed back there for the freshman punter out of Marietta, John Barron for Savannah State. But Georgia Southern going to get the ball in the 46. Butler might like to have that back instead of fair catching it. Keeping that. Zach Walker checking into the lineup. Zach, one of the sensational receivers from a year ago, making the mothership on a couple of occasions with his catches. Contrella Showers, a wide receiver to the right. Zach Walker far to the left side. Hand off to... Dominique Swope right up the gut across the 50 gets to the Savannah State 49 yard line on first down. Nice pickup right up the middle and right now very soft up front for Savannah State and basically Dominique Swope having his way. It'll set up second down and a short five from the Tiger 49 yard line again off to Swope this time he cuts off the right side off right tackle inside the 45 down to the 43 yard line and Swope will pick up a Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles again Franklin Toyota proud supporter of Georgia Southern Athletics each Georgia Southern first down presented by Franklin Toyota check them out online at franklintoyota.com first down and 10 now at the Tigers 42 yard line Eagles on the march second possession of the game flex bone formation they will motion Jonathan Bryant to give again up the middle on the dive to Dominique Swope inside the 40. Makes his way to the 39-yard line. Pickup of three, second down and seven upcoming for the Eagles. By the way, you'll see A-backs in this offense in and out. One A-back you will not see. Uh, Yuyut obviously moving to that position has been officially ruled out along with, uh, along with Huggins, Irving Huggins, and Cody Redinger, the only three ruled out medically from this ballgame. This time, McKinnon will keep on the midline. Right up the gut on second down and seven at the 39. He'll make his way inside the Tiger 35. They'll mark him just shy of the 33 yard line. But 8.53 to go here in the first quarter. No score. Savannah State, Georgia Southern opening Saturday here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium. It'll be third down and a yard here for the Eagles as Daquan Hurd will check in. Great read by Jarek McKinnon on that previous play, Chris. William Banks in at B back. Swope will get a breather here. McKinnon give it off it'll be Banks and Banks will pick up the Franklin first down inside the Tiger 30 down to the 29 yard line just running off right tackle and again the offensive line one of the veteran crews on this team doing a tremendous job Dominique Swope William Banks really having their way like knife through butter so far here in the first half great job on the right side of that offensive line first down and 10 at the 29 yard line flex bone formation again Banks will stay in at B back they will fake the quick toss and McKinnon looking to throw looking near side got a man open pass hung up in the air nearly picked off down at the three yard line looking for Devin Scott but the ball a little under thrown and Savannah State with three in the vicinity and it looked like like that time John Wilson had a hand yeah. on it just couldn't hold on yeah near side short side and because you're this close to the end zone Chris you know typically he would have some lead on that if you're throwing to the far side with some length because Scott had a step or two, but there was just too tight a margin down here at the corner. Second down and 10 at the 29 yard line. This time they'll get off Swope back in. Or rather, McKinnon will keep after pulling from Swope. And this time he's brought down in the backfield. 
at the 30 yard line a loss of a yard as Marquis Smith the freshman able to pull down McKinnon and now checking into the game will be Kevin Ellison as McKinnon a little slow to get up that time. He'll check into the near side. So Ellison, the redshirt freshman out of Cornelia, Georgia. And Ellison really impressing the coaches in fall camp this year. Had a good handle of the offense and exceptional talent athletically. He'll have three receivers right, one to the left side. Four wide here for the Eagles with a back set. Swope back there to block. Here's a pass, far side. Catch made to Showers. He'll shake and bake his way down to the Tigers' 16-yard line. A Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Another Franklin first down. Franklin Chevrolet, Cadillac, Buick, GMC. Proud supporters of Georgia Southern Athletics. Check them out online at franklinchevrolet.com. Nice pitch and catch that time. Kevin Ellison comes in for one play, does his job, Terry. Comes back to the sideline. Jarek McKinnon back under center. Great route by Showers. Came back, showed the quarterback his numbers. Was able to make some moves with in order to pick up the first down. First down, 10 now at the Tigers' 16 yard line no score 706 to go here in the first quarter McKinnon gonna try to keep it himself and this time Savannah State staying at home trying to spin away is Jerry inside the 15 just shy of the 13 yard line Marquis Smith again the freshman in on coverage and one of the things about Savannah State you look at Georgia Southern you say you've got a lot of experienced players at skill positions for Savannah State Coach Wilson doesn't have that luxury. He's got a lot of young guys learning on the job here. And so far, Marquis Smith doing a pretty good job staying at home against this option. Second down seven after a three-yard pickup. Mark it at the 13-yard line. Here's the give to Swope this time. He's caught and tripped up in the backfield, but able to find and lunge forward just shy of the 10-yard line, which will pick up about three yards. It'll set up third down and four upcoming for the Eagles. And unfortunately, the Eagles have a player down on his back. And it Dorian. appears to be the offensive lineman, Dorian Bird. Yeah, and it, it looks like cramping, I'd imagine, because he was he was making his way up to up, you know, and it's the classic look when you're starting to get up and you grab back of that hamstring and you go down and it's hot and you expect you'd see some of that, but I expect that, that that's what we're looking at. Jeff Ward coming in for Dorian, the sophomore out of Swanee, Georgia. 5'11", sophomore, 225. The humidity down there, I, I really expect, I, I know the offseason and during camp, Chris, you run, you work out a lot, but we've had an awful lot of rain, and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see more of this as the game moves on. You know, later, or earlier, I should say, this afternoon after making my way to Paulson Stadium, the last month of July and really virtually all of August, everybody in this area, Southeast Georgia, and for that matter, the Southeast United States have had to deal with rain and, and basically a deluge of rain over the last couple of weeks. And then you come into today with temperatures around 90, 91 degrees and the humidity off the chart. No surprise here, cramping will be an issue we expect for both teams. Dorian Bird now helped up by the training crew. And then as Brian said, it appears to be a cramp and he will gingerly make his way to the near side. Let's hope so, Chris, because they've been running off of him, this right side between yeah. senior Dorian Bird and Zach Lonis, the other senior, and Man Ray St. Amore up the middle. That has been where Swope's been picking up his yards. You know, and we've talked so much about the talent of these guys, the quarterback since Jabo. And one thing that Jabo was always so good at when he got inside that clubhouse red zone, we got points. You'd see Jabo just tough as nails get in. It's something that, that I had mentioned in the offseason. I really wanted to see Georgia Southern get inside the 10 and be able to convert more of those touchdowns. I mean, they did it a pretty high clip, but j -Bo was the master that you knew you were getting points when you get down here, and then Georgia Southern can set that precedent very early, very early in the season here. Two of three on third down so far in this early part of the ball game. Third and four ball at the 10, Chris. Jeff Ward checks in on the right side of that offensive line as McKinnon looks back to the near sideline. Coach Munkin relaying plays from up top here to the right. He'll step into a shotgun. He'll have two receivers right. Jonathan Bryan in the slot right side. He'll set up option. Dominique Swope lead blocking and Savannah State right there again will bring him down just shy of the 10 yard line and it's Marky Smith again who just stayed at home. That time Dominique Swope trying to lead block. Problem was Smith came up behind him and it was one on one on Jarek McKinnon that will set up fourth down and four just outside the 10 yard line and the Eagles will try another field goal where they missed a few moments ago from 32 yards out. This one's going to be a decent angle from the far side hash as the Eagles come out trying to get on the scoreboard here with 527 to go. 
in the first half. Well, we talk first about quarter. the key to triple option is penetration. Tierney will try it again. This time it will be blocked. It'll go into the left end zone, and Savannah State holds yet again as the Eagles get inside the clubhouse red zone and come away empty-handed. Trevion Ashford got his hand on it, and yeah. the Eagles head back to the sideline with a goose egg. Five this will be a media timeout. Zero to zero, our score. We'll return to Allen Paulson Stadium in just a moment. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern Football. Paulson Stadium at Georgia Southern and Savannah State yet to crack the scoreboard zero to zero the Eagles have missed on two field goal opportunities the first time they had the possession of the football they went six plays missing on a 32 yarder second time they get football back they get 12 plays go 44 yards and miss again Savannah State will take back possession this time the draw up the middle it will be Sheldon Barnes out of Hinesville, Georgia, up across the 25, made it just beyond the 26. Kyle Obeck on the stop. While we have a moment, let's pause. 10 seconds, station identification. So great stations along our network can identify themselves. This is Georgia Southern Football from Nelligan Sports. and broadcast booth here at Paulson Stadium. Savannah State with a football. No score in the game. 435 to go here in the first quarter. Second down fourth to 26 for the Tigers. Moving right to left. Four wide. Coming out throwing his prunty. This one short hopped and incomplete up at the 32 yard line. Again looking for Simon Hayward the senior out of Savannah, Georgia. Unable to get it there on time. Lavelle Westbrook's in on coverage. That'll set up third down and four from the 26 yard line. Again, no score. The kicking woes continue. Last year, the Eagles missed 14 field goal opportunities, Terry. And as a former kicker and punter, I know that irritates you. And right now, we're 0 for 2 on the 2013 season. No doubt about it, especially when you get a block, and that's just about execution, and it gets inside your head. Third down and four, Josh Rowe back into the ball game. Prunty coming out throwing. This one looked like fingertips may have gotten it. It was short. Yeah. Looking at the 29-yard line, Jake Durham, the intended receiver. It's incomplete. Tay Hicklin, the middle linebacker, got a hand on it. Yeah, he brought Hicklin on the uh, the near side off the blitz, and he was all in the passing lane immediately. In fact, he jumped up and didn't have to jump up. Him jumping up, having to take his hands down closer to his head because he was the main target when the quarterback turned and looked his way. So John Barron been busy here for Savannah State. He has been in the shadow of his own end zone throughout the game. Give credit to the Tiger defense. They have not allowed a point here for the Eagles who have really had good field position. It'll be Trey Butler back again standing at his own 35 yard line as Barron tries another kick this time a little low line kick takes a bounce high bounce for the Tigers inside the 35. They decide to down it at the 32 may have let that go in a little further but the Eagles will take it as they'll start first down and 10 just shy of their own 33 yard line with 412 to go here in the first quarter. No score in the ball game. Eagles with chances and cannot connect from the foot fans. We ask you to stay connected with your favorite team anytime from anywhere. You can just log on to GSEagles.com. Newly renovated, new look, the official website of Georgia Southern Athletics. Get the latest scores, news, highlights, on-demand audio and video, high-quality live audio and video streaming, much more. If you're on the go, you can download the official Eagles GATA mobile app. Go to GSEagles.com and the Eagles GAT mobile app, keeping you connected to the Eagles. First down and 10 at the 34. Eagles in the flex bone. One receiver to the right, one to the left side. McKinnon trying to set up option, has to give chase, breaks a tackle near side, now cuts it back far side, and he's got room. Middle of the field, across midfield, breaks a tackle at the 40. Down the hash to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Put an Eagles 6 on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Jarek McKinnon making something out of nothing at all. On first down from the 34 yard line, he got to the middle of the field. Justin Dixon had him dead to rights in the backfield, and McKinnon's upper body strength pulled away. A 66 yard touchdown, and the Eagles on the board with 3.58 to play in the first quarter. It's six to nothing. Connor Tierney now on for the point after. That's called making lemonade out of lemons. 
because uh, he was dead to rights. Defensive end penetration had him. And again, using his strength, made something happen. Great blocking downfield, and nobody blocked in the back. It looked like Zach was almost ready to. It's a low snap, but Tierney will get the kickoff. This time it's through the uprights. They get it done, and it's 7 0. Georgia Southern with a lead. 3.58 to go here in the first quarter. So it took three times, and it's a charm. One play, 66 yards. Jared McKinnon with the first rushing touchdown on the season. We'll return to Allen Paulson Stadium in just a moment. Our score Georgia Southern 7, Savannah State 0 from Nelligan Sports. This is Georgia Southern football. Takes the lead with 3.58 to play here in the first quarter. 7 to nothing. Jarek McKinnon, senior quarterback, rips off a 66-yard touchdown. The Eagles missing on two field goal opportunities. McKinnon decides, hey, it's easier for me to just take it all the way to the house. And he does as Eagles set to kick it away. The ball falls off the tee. Humid day here in Statesboro, Georgia. On the last day of August. Another good kickoff by Hanks, Chris. Deep into the end zone, fielded about eight yards deep, and wisely Beals decides to take a knee. And with 3.58 to play, Savannah State will bring it out and start from scrimmage. Georgia Southern leading seven to nothing just after the seven o'clock hour. What a great kickoff by uh, Hanks on that one all the way into the end zone there as we take a look at the first quarter stats Jarek McKinnon six carries there first uh, oh, he got 66 yards all of it coming on one run on a three on a 66 yard run the Domino's drive delivery presented by Domino's Pizza proud style sponsor of Georgia Southern Athletics. The Georgia Southern Dominoes is open really late. Call them 912-681-4326 in Statesboro or go to dominoes.com. Prunty now sets up under center. I formation. They'll hand it off to the fullback, Pharrell or Terrell. He's hit at the line, nowhere to go as Hardy got to him first. That time, Savannah State looked a little out of sorts uh, working under center. And again, it, this, this offensive line is built quickly for pass protection, as I mentioned there in the Knox Pest Control uh, sideline report earlier. That when, you, you, you're going to have a problem with pat and run protection, especially on the right side of that line. Second down 10 as they take that play and throw it away. Mark from the 25 yard line after the touchback. This time back in the gun is Prunty. Two receivers left, one to the right. He's in trouble, gets away from trouble. Flag comes out as he breaks a tackle at the 20. Now his legs cut from under him at the 23 yard line by Tay Hicklin. The flag early in that play going against Savannah State. Looks like a hold. We'll wait and see. Give us a chance to introduce you to the official. They gave us the early indication that it was indeed holding. Holding number 61 of the offense. 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay second down. Didn't have a chance to introduce you to our crew earlier. Presented by Dr. Horace Steele and Vision Source, professional eye care of Statesboro. Of the Southern Conference referee Thomas Graham, umpire Wayne Rigsby, linesman Robert Broom, the line judge Timothy Foreman, side judge Chris Rape, field judge Josh Fath, and the back judge is Jamie Tricoli. Tricoli, I'm sorry. So the holding penalty sets back the Tigers fourth down and 20 at the 15 yard line twin back set now out of the gun split back formation a receiver to each side Eagles showing four man front little play action Prunty in trouble misses one hit in the backfield throws across uh, into the flats deflected and nearly caught but incomplete at the 40 it hit Pharrell off his fingertips Jeremy Moore tried to go in and grab it could not in time Raphael Hardy. A lot of pressure on the quarterback by Hardy all in his face. Savannah State, I thought, I got to tell you, I thought Brady did a good job on that one. He eluded Hardy, barely. Thought he made a good pass. His guy just couldn't hold on to it. Again, showing that these guys can make something happen even when a broke could play. Looking at third down and 20 now at the 15-yard line to their very own. Right in front of Southern Pride, they've got noise in their ear. The Tigers 0 for 3 on third down this afternoon. Split back again. 
Receiver to each side, working from the far side, has Prunty with time. Now pressure comes, hit as he unloads. It's incomplete up at the 30-yard line. He was looking for Chris Drummond. It's incomplete. Eagles with good coverage, good. Matt Dobson, the quarterback coming in from Florida, now playing at safety. We got to see him play headhunter on special teams last year as a true freshman. Kept telling the coaching staff it probably makes no difference to him. He does love to hit people, and he's playing pretty well at safety. Is That'll set up fourth down and a cab ride, and that will force again John Barron to come out, kick it away, this time not in the shadow. He's behind the shadow of his own end zone. Down but inside the one-yard line, he'll kick it away. Trey Butler stands on the Tiger side of the field at the 48-yard line. Long snap count, here it comes. Barron puts it away. High, but not very deep. Coming up the field, calling for the fair catch is Butler. He'll have it at the 44-yard line. And again, the Eagles' great field position to get things started with 2.33 to go in the first quarter. They lead 7 to nothing over the Savannah State Tigers. I thought Jay Ellison got some really good snaps. We talked about the depth in the defensive interior in the pregame, and Terry and I talked about it for about 27 minutes after that. I, I like Ellison a lot, and I thought that he had some very good snaps. You saw him on that last series in there. He was able to get some pressure. Left side of that offensive line was not able to hold him up, and he is a whole lot of manhood coming through the right side playing that three technique. Ellison's a guy that can provide some really good snaps for that defensive side of the ball. Good side here, Dorian Bird checking back in on the right side of that offensive line after going down on that last drive, drive before the last drive. So he's back in up front, first down to 10 at the 43. McKinnon out of a shotgun. He'll pull from Swope, now move to his left. Savannah State does stay home again. They do a great job, not being fooled to where the football is going. Swope trying to misdirect to the near side. McKinnon keeping to the left. And Justin Dixon, middle linebacker, leading the charge, will pull down McKinnon. And a loss of two yards sets up second down and 12. They'll mark it at the 44-yard line as Dylan Turner, the junior out of Augusta, Georgia. Their ends, I think, are doing a very good job of crashing in, but yet staying focused on Jarek McKinnon. Of course, on the 66-yard, he just used his pure athletic ability to elude them, but I think they've done a good job. Turner checks in as the tight end for the Eagles. Here's the snap, handoff to Swope. He will crab leg his way to about the 40 after being hit at the line by Patrick Stevenson. But he's able to make it to the 40, picking up some yards and then some, but it sets out a third and seven here for the Eagles. The ball placed at the 40-yard line, a minute 35 to go in the first quarter. It's a seven to nothing Georgia Southern lead. Eagles two of four on third down in the afternoon. We don't talk a lot about the tight ends, but you had to replace two pretty good ones, Willie Burden and Tyler Sumner. Flexbone formation, the give to Swope. Swope swatting away defenders, makes his way just shy of the 35-yard line, right up the gut, then breaking to the near side. He'll be short of the first down. It looks like it will be fourth down and about three, maybe two, depending on the spot, just outside the 35. So it will be fourth and two plus. And the Eagles appear to go for it with under a minute to play in the first quarter. Munkin will keep the... Offense out there in the flex bone. One receiver to each side. McKinnon under center. Swope, your B back. Swope will get the call and Swope will move the pile down to the 32 yard line. Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Savannah State coaches cannot believe it. Ernest Wilson beside himself thought they had him, but Dominique Swope moves the pile. He carried three Tigers in that front of that defense down to the 32 yard line. William Banks now will check in. And a well-deserved rest for Dominique Swope as Dominique picks up a Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Zach Lonis and Dorian Bird giving Swope all the room he needed to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. First down and 10 now at the 32. Again out of the flex. One receiver to the right. One wide to the left side. McKenna will work under center. Banks in it. Be back. Jonathan Bryant. Trey Butler, your slot back. Still motion Bryant. Right to left, McKinnon looking to throw, now in trouble, comes out, bails out, throws to the 30-yard line. Monte Crockett, redshirt freshman out of Rock Hill, hauls it in. About a two-yard pickup, sets down second down and eight, but a good job by Monte to come back out, bail his quarterback out, Terry, because McKinnon had pressure all in him in the backfield and somehow delivers, and Crockett at least gets two positive yards. Well, once again, you had Blunt all in McKinnon's face. The defensive ends, again, are doing a very good job against George Southern right now. Second down, eight. Six seconds to go here in the first quarter. 
This time McKinnon, left side, gets loose, breaks a shoestring, tackle inside the 15, down to the Savannah State 11-yard line. That's the final play of the first quarter. Trevion Ashford got enough shoestring to pull McKinnon down, and we end the first quarter with Georgia Southern leading 7 to nothing. They'll switch sides of the field. We'll return for the second quarter in just a moment. Our score, Georgia Southern 7, Savannah State 0. You're listening to Georgia Southern football from Nelligan Sports. Georgia Southern University, you join a community of more than 20,000 students that have made Georgia Southern one of the nation's top educational institutions for nursing, business, education, research, and much more. Choose Southern today at georgiasouthern.edu. 15 minutes put up on the board. Welcome back to Allen A. Paulson Stadium. We begin the second quarter, 7-0, Georgia Southern with the lead. Terry, I'll put you in the mind of Coach Jeff Munkin right now. Missed opportunities. You're happy to have the lead, but something tells me if he were chewing on a pen, he'd have ink all over his face. No doubt. Not only he has to be a little frustrated in the kicking game, but what he's frustrated at is he had to kick it to begin with because it stalled out a little bit. So he wants to see better execution from his offense, from his offensive line to get that penetration stopped. Chance inside the clubhouse red zone once again as they switch sides of the field. Jet toss going right side, trying to find room is Torrance Hunt. Can't do so, tried to stretch the play out from the 12-yard line. He got to about the 10, that's all. Second down and eight. Eagles can pick up a first down just inside the two. We've got a Tiger slow to get up on this near side at the near side hash. Training crew coming out to take a look. Looks like David Adabi is the Tiger down. And again, it may be a cramping situation as he help, hops up on his own power. And in fact, it is. David Adabi out of Atlanta, Georgia, will stumble his way to the far sideline. And that's something to expect with the humidity we have here in southeast Georgia on this Saturday afternoon, headed into the evening hours. Sun still up. Lights are underway here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium, the 400th game all time in the modern era of Eagle football. 14.42 to play in the second quarter. Second down eight. They'll mark it at the 10-yard line. Eagles lead seven to nothing over Savannah State. They'll work from the far side hash. Eagles on the attack right to left. Jarek McKinnon will work under center out of a flex bone. Dominique Swope, Devin Scott in the backfield. McKinnon trying to spin away from defenders, hit at the 10, makes his way to about the eight-yard line, a pickup of two. We'll set up third down and six. It's Trevion Ashford again. It almost appears to me Trevion Ashford has been asked, gentlemen, to stay with Jarrett McKinnon. Wherever he is, he's to be his shadow. He has been on a number of plays when McKinnon has carried the football and he's had the speed to stay with him which is what also it no not all the time obviously they had some good breakaways there third down for Georgia Southern on the day two of five on third down Bryant slot back along with Devin Scott swope your B back they'll motion Bryant they'll fake the toss McKinnon to throw looking to the end zone to Scott at the goal line put an eagle six on it touchdown Georgia Southern Nice pitch and catch and credit Devin Scott started on the left side went around and just cut across the middle of the field nobody picked him up in the middle of that Tiger defense he was wide open easy pitch and catch for Jarek McKinnon and that will make it 13 to nothing with 1349 to play here in the first half Connor Tierney on for the point after great presence in the pocket by Jarek patience and a touch pass that's what I would call that good job Jarek. Tierney 0 for 2 for field goals. He's 1 for 1 on point afters. A chance here. He'll wait on the snap. Here it comes. It's set. Kick is on its way. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So it's 14 to nothing now. Georgia Southern starting to find themselves offensively. Savannah State starting to reel. 13 49 to go. First half action from Allen E. Paul. All right, man. Let's go. This will be a 90 second media timeout. to play here in the first half 14 to nothing Georgia Southern leads over the Savannah State Tigers in the opening game of the 2013 campaign next week the Eagles back in action against St. Francis before they begin conference play on the road two weeks from today in Spartanburg South Carolina 
Taking on the Wofford Terriers. Of course, you can catch all the action here on the Georgia Southern Radio Network. Let's check in down on the field. A good crowd on hand here. The Knox Pest Control sideline report in his eighth season roaming the sidelines. Ryan, uh, what's the sound like? Ma We've talked about the heat. What's the sound like? Man, it makes me feel old, but not as old as you, by the way. Congratulations. What, number 49 today? Uh, Somewhere yeah, thereabouts? Yeah, give or I, take I, about 10. Did you notice the tyranny kick? Uh, the first one, the, the extra point, actually went into the pit there on the uh, west end into the construction zone. I thought that was interesting. So, I mean, next week they're going to have to look at maybe raising the uh, nets there on the west end to try to keep that out of the construction area. Alex Hanks will kick it away this time. Wind at his back, kicking right to left. Savannah State will have Hayward and Beals back deep. Both standing at the two-yard line. Here's the approach by Hanks. It's on its way. End over end kick this time deep. Takes a bounce out of the end zone. It will be a touchback, and the Tigers will start at their own 25-yard line. 13.49 to go, and the Eagles up 14 to nothing over Savannah State. The tenth meeting all time between these two schools. Nine wins for Georgia Southern, but there's been some exciting games, Terry Harmon, between Georgia Southern and Savannah State over the years. There certainly has, and one involving Shannon Sharp, and I'll never forget him running down the sidelines, pointing at us. He set the records there. Set the records, but he went home with a loss. He certainly did. Take that every time. <laughs> First down at 10 at the 25 for the Tigers. For the second time, they'll go under center. This time, one back deep in the hole. The handoff going to Barnes, and he has met before the line. He's able to move the pile slightly to the original line of scrimmage with Edwin Jackson, the junior out of Atlanta. Rather, Josh Rowe out of Opelika coming up to stuff it quickly. Looked like there was going to be some room for Barnes to run in, but nice closing speed by Josh Rowe, who missed last season. Good to have him back there in the blue and white. An incredible athlete. He looks impressive when you stand next to Josh Rowe in those Adidas blue and white uniforms. Second down, 10 at the 25. Again, out of the gun, Prunty will move. Two receivers left, one to the right. Hit as he throws, tosses this one into the air, near side, nobody near it, incomplete at the 45-yard line. Josh Gebhardt and Tay Hicklin put a hit on Prunty. They were looking for Frazier, out on Cooper, however. The corner for the Eagles, the closest man who had a chance to make a play on this near sideline. It'll set up third down and 10 at the 25-yard line, and boy, Prunty paid for throwing that football. Outside blitz, they took Tay Hicklin, came in there hard, Hicklin did, and then, of course, him and Josh, I mean, hit him at the same time. Lowered the boom. Third down, 10 at the 25. Savannah State struggling on third down today. 0 for 4. They'll spend, they'll send trip receivers staggered to the left side. Prunty out of a gun. He's got a lone back on the right side. 13.07 to play. Here's the snap. Prunty looking. Now flag comes out, rolling. Trying to extend the play. He will throw this one into the Eagle bench near side. We got a flag down in the offensive backfield at about the 18-yard line as Moanu, sophomore out of Samoa. Jonathan Battle with good pursuit. They take Josh Rowe and drop him into coverage and play zone on the far side. They were all covered. Holding number 61 of the offense. The penalty is declined. Results of the play will be fourth down. Yeah, that's on, and that's actually on battle. And that'll tell you how, how, how hard he was coming, how fast that motor was running, because he was held from the minute that snap happened, the second time on the hash mark, and he almost got to the play in, in, anyway. And, and they've done a good job. As I mentioned, battle's one of those guys, four or five, in that defensive tackle spot, buying for some playing time up there. So another penalty declined by Georgia Southern. They'll take the punt. Here's John Barron. We'll kick it away yet again with 12.58 to go. Trey Butler just on the Eagles side of the field at the 46-yard line. Eagles appear to pin their ears back here. Barron standing at his own 10. Looks jittery as he takes the snap. This one off the side of the foot, got it in the air, takes a good Tiger bounce. A flag comes out as it's picked up on the hop by Butler at the Eagle 40. He'll be drugged down by the jersey. At about the 37 yard line, flag down near midfield. We'll wait and see what it's all about. Came from the line judge from the near side. Decent punt when it looked like Barron wasn't going to get much off of it, but he hit it to the far sideline, Terry, and like my nine iron, took a nice hop back to the right to stay in play. And it gave Butler an opportunity to try to pick it up and make a play of it. It goes against Georgia Southern. It's going to be a holding call against Southern, and it's their first penalty on Georgia Southern 
today so where we had some issues maybe getting a rough start on offense and maybe some rough kicking getting started it typically penalties are abundance in the beginning of the season this being the first one for Georgia Southern, the kick, so that's good to see. Holding number five of the receiving team. That penalty will be 10 yards from the spot where the kick ended. It will be first down Georgia Southern. Going to back Georgia Southern up uh, two. Well, they haven't started marking it yet. Still a discussion here with 12.43 to play. Georgia Southern will backpedal here. They lead 14 to nothing with 12.43 to go. Coming up, the Southern Halftime Report presented by the Georgia Lottery, who, by the way, celebrating their 20th anniversary. Russ Brown will step in, take you through the first half stats and highlights. Colin Lacey will introduce you to a group of professors doing remarkable research when it comes to concussion and its effects on football players being done right here at Georgia Southern University. That'll come up during the Southern Halftime Report. 12 minutes, 43 seconds from now. 14 to nothing, our score. Eagles backed up first down and 10 to the 29 after the infraction on the punt. Jarek McKinnon under center in the flex, flex mode. No Kevin Ellison now checking in. And at the snap, we got flags. May have had movement there as Ellison moved into the quarterback, had one play, threw for a pass. Nice completion in his only yeah, play, he, but he, this time a little jumpy. He was cocked and ready. start there, too. I spoke too soon, didn't I, about the penalties? Number 63 of the offense. I'll take the blame. Five for that. yards. Remains first down. Bring up first down and 15 for the Eagles ball in the 24. Quick score from around the Southern Conference in the second. It's tied up for Furman and Weber. Ellison, one pass, one reception, 14 yards. First down, 15. After the infraction, Ellison set it up. Option right side. He'll keep leapfrog a defender. Gets across the 30, makes his way across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Shot out of a cannon. Did you guys see the speed from Kevin Ellison, the yes. redshirt freshman out of Cornelia, Georgia? Wow. Yeah, he was something at Habersham Central. And he really, that's a program that's always had to play at the highest level of this classification. So it's a big high school up in the North Georgia Mountains. And he's one of the best they've had in the last 10 years and was a very big pickup for Georgia Southern in the recruiting battles. Looks like he's running hurdles in the Olympics there. Picks up 12 yards to make it second down and three. After that penalty, he gets it and then some. It'll be at the 36-yard line. Ellison under center. They'll motion Devin Scott to give on the dive to Swope. He's up across the 40. He'll pick up a Franklin first down at the 42-yard line of the Eagles with 11.56 to go here in the second quarter. So interesting move early, still early. A lot of time left, just under 12 minutes in the second quarter. Coach Munkin putting Kevin Ellison out there. Give him a chance to run this offense. Jarrett McKinnon, no indication that he's banged up. He did get hit a little earlier in the game but came back in to the ball game. But right now it's Ellison's offense and his opportunity to do. First down and 10 at the 42. Again, off to Swope on the dive up the middle, 45, moving the pile, carrying three Tigers beyond the 47, between the 47 and 48 yard line, a pickup of five. It'll be second down and five for the Eagles with 11.30 to go here in the first half, up 14 to nothing over the Savannah State Tigers. He does such a good job of jumping over defenders in the middle. By the way, correction is Gardner Webb. Furman tied at seven last year. Gardner Webb gave him a game, and Furman pulled out a 21 15 win. Second down, fourth to 48 of their very own for the Eagles in the flex and movement. And may have crossed the line. Don't know if they were drawn or not, but that time the nose tackle for Savannah State, I believe it was Martinez, jumped a little early. We'll wait and see if he was drawn off. He was in the neutral zone. We'll wait and see. Made contact as. Uh, Logan Davies comes out of the ball game. Zach Lonis checks back in for All sides the Eagles. With contact, number 90 of the defense. That five-yard penalty results in a first down. You'll also notice Dorian Bird absent left ankle as he is uh, getting worked on here on the sidelines. So the penalty against the Tigers racks up yet another. They've been penalty riddled here so far in the first half. Eagles open to the game. Good field position each time they touch the ball. They missed on two field goals before Jarek McKinnon got the scoring started on a 66-yard touchdown run. Here's Ellison in the backfield, decides to tuck and run up the middle of the field inside the 40 of the Tigers and battles his way inside the 35 to the 34. He would not give up. Looked like he was down at the 40 after taking contact. Yards after contact, Kevin Ellison gets an A-plus. Excellent run by the redshirt freshman out of Cornelia, Georgia, John Wilson. 
The cornerback having to come up and eventually trip up Kevin Allison. Nice run. Picks up another Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. It's now first down and 10 at the Savannah State Tiger 38-yard line. And he ran over John Wilson out of Athens, the senior. Great balance and strength by Ellison. First down, 10 at the 34. Under center is Ellison. Dominique Swope the B-back. The motion Bryant, the give to Swope. Ball on his left hip. Goes off left tackle, and he'll carry Tigers inside the 25, inside the 20. He's finally brought down at about the 18-yard line of Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Each Franklin first down presented by Franklin Toyota Scion, proud supporter of Georgia Southern Athletics. You'll see their great selection of award-winning Toyotas, including Corolla. Roller, Camry, RAV4, Tundras, and many more. The official transportation provider of the Georgia Southern Radio Network, Franklin Toyota. Check them out online at franklintoyota.com. First down, 10 at the 18. Inside the clubhouse red zone for the third time this afternoon. And timeout taken by Savannah State. 10-14 to go. We'll steal one with them. 14 to nothing. Georgia Southern leads the Tigers. We'll return timeout. to Paul Savannah State. State. In just a moment. Their first timeout. Sports. This is Georgia Southern football. Hey. 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 Pharmacy with free in-town delivery, online refill options, and even text alerts letting you know when your prescription is ready. Your town, your pharmacy, your choice. Walker Pharmacy, three locations to serve you, the official pharmacy of Georgia Southern Athletics. 10-14 to go to half. Georgia Southern inside the red zone. Struggling a little bit offensively in the first quarter. Kicking game not helping them out. Then Jarek comes up with a big 66-yard gallop to put the Eagles on the board and then comes back with a great touch pass to Scott to go up 14 to nothing. And now knocking on the door, trying to put some more points on the board is not Jarek, but redshirt freshman Ellison. Ellison under center, first down 10 at the 18-yard line. Inside the clubhouse red zone are the Eagles. Trey Butler a slot back, along with Jonathan Bryant, Dominique Swope, the B-back. Ellison under center, five-man front for the Tigers. Ellison will pull, pitch right side, Butler. Butler with room, cuts inside the hash at the 10 to the five, rolls a pile down near the one-yard line, just shy of Pater. They'll mark him down at the one. He'll pick up a Franklin first down. It'll be first down, goal to goal. John Wilson saves the score. What a run that time and a great decision. Pulled by Ellison, making a nice pitch under pressure and gets down at the goal line. The Eagles knocking on the door with 10 minutes to play here in the first half. First down, goal to goal from the Tiger one. Ellison ready to get back to work under center. They'll motion Butler to give to Swope and Dominique Swope untouched into the end zone. Put an Eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Coming off a 17 touchdown performance a year ago with 1,238 yards. Give the junior from Buford his first down the season to extend the lead. 20 to nothing with 9.52 to go here in the first half. That looked easy for the Eagles. Great job by Kevin Ellison leading that charge all the way down the field. Set up by an 18 yard option play by Ellison. And I will tell you today that that was the best executed and fastest play I've seen today by Georgia Southern. Tierney on for the point after. Kick is up, kick is good. Tierney perfect with point afters, makes it 21 to nothing. 9.52 to go here in the first half. We'll continue from Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. Georgia Southern leading Savannah State 21 to nothing from Nelligan Sports. This is Georgia Southern football. Georgia Southern Chris he's had an amazing day kicking off today two deep in the end zone one against the wind Man, see if he could pull it off again Georgia Southern up 21 nothing 952 to go Hanks kicks this one high and in the air this one will be fielded at about the two yard line Savannah State trying to get running got some room outside tripped up high into the air is Contrell Frazier explosive jump high in the air 
Coming down at around the 24, just shy of the 25-yard line. A little fireworks there for the Savannah State crowd across the way. That's about all they've had to cheer about, minus the two missed field goals by Georgia Southern. 9.45 to go, and the Eagles up 21 to nothing. Seven plays, 71 yards, took up two minutes and 51 seconds, but that was a series that was run from start to finish by Ellison, the redshirt freshman at quarterback, an amazing 19-yard triple option, then sets up a one-yard run by Swope, put an Eagle six on it. Georgia Southern leads 21 to nothing. Domino's drive summary. Leon Prunty comes out firing on first down and 10 at the 25. Gets to the 29-yard line looking for Jake Durham, the senior out of Ludwisi, and he holds on. Gives them some breathing room there. Not a lot of completions, and it looks like that Durham is slow to get up. He's on his back at about the 24-yard line. Training crew from Savannah State making their way over from the far sideline as he was decked hard after making the catch. It was Carlos Cave, senior out of Macon, Georgia, that delivered the blow. May have knocked the air out of him. We hope that's all that is. But 9.32 to go here in the second quarter of action. So Tony, the Domino's Drive delivery summary. Delivery presented by Domino's Pizza. Proud sponsor, Georgia Southern Athletics. Georgia Southern Domino's is open really late. Call them at 912-681-4326 in Statesboro or go to Domino's. Dot com. You think I can get them to deliver a pizza to us up here, Chris, in the press box? I've heard you are a master at getting pizzas delivered wherever you need them to come. I think I had them come to practice once when I played, but we'll tell you that another day. I've always wondered if that's true or yeah. that's just a legend. No, it's really true. They're I did all, it. I can admit it now. They're all true. They're and, all true. Yeah. Well, I had to take care of the kickers on my senior day, my last day of practice. Good news. Jake Durham for the Tigers hops up, heads to the far side. So a good sign there, possibly. Again, had the wind knocked out of him after Carlos Cave came crashing down after the reception. Sets up second down five. Again, the ball at the Tiger 30-yard line, and before they can get set, we have a whistle and a stop and play. No flags, but I think they want to get set maybe on the clock and maybe on the play clock, and they do reset it with 25 seconds. Leon Prunty, the freshman quarterback, making his first start here out of Stockbridge, Georgia, 6'4", 220 pounds. Good-looking specimen out there on the field. Hasn't had a lot of time. In fact, when he's dropped back, he's been hit most times when he's tried to release the football. He'll try it again with four receivers, two to the left, two to the right, one lone back, expecting them to block as Prunty waiting on the shotgun snap. Couldn't get it off, and a flag comes out. Could be delay a game. No nope. false start. start. Brady wanted the offense. Five yards. Remain second down. He did, Chris. And you're going back to Prunty. He's a good looking quarterback, six foot four. Stats today, three of 12 passing. I think that's deceiving. His receivers really haven't helped him a whole lot. So after the infraction, second down and 10 after starting this drive with a completion. Few and far between, but now they're backed up on the penalties, and they have racked up quite a few today. 8.55 to go in the first half. Second down, 10, shotgun snap. Back deep across the middle. Wide open and dropped at the 30-yard line. Nobody near Rashad Farrell. He had grass in front of him and just did not watch it in. And that one, if you're Coach Jeff Munkin, Jack Curtis, and the defensive staff, you want to know why he's that wide open if you're Savannah State. You just drop your head. Yeah, again, I mentioned, I told you the receivers haven't helped him. And again, case in point. Third down, 10 at the 25. Working from their side of the field, near side hash. We'll send one receiver right, one to the left, split back field. Leon Prunty in the shotgun. Georgia Southern switching personnel up front. Waiting on the snap, here it comes. Backpedaling this Prunty, steps up in the pocket, now moves to his left. Fakes, pump fakes, now still moving outside. Tucks and runs, makes his way up to the 35, just shy of the 36. Blake Riley eventually runs him out on the right side. He runs out of real estate. Up near the first down markers. Nice run for Leon Prunty. Haven't Certainly seen was. him do a lot of running today, but he'll be short. Nope. They give him the first down, so Prunty keeps the drive alive. It looked like it was going to be about a yard shy, but they're going to mark the football down at the 36-yard line of the Tigers. That's going to make up for a lack of a running game. Again, they've had a hard time blocking. Right side of the line has looked, looked very porous here in the first half, and they're going to have to find a way to move that pocket, extend this place. And that's the running game so far for Savannah State if they're going to keep these drives alive. I think find a way to catch the ball, they'll help their quarterback out quite a bit. First down, 10 at the 36. Prunty out of the gun. Has time, throws across 
the middle. This time far side flat. Catch is made at the 49. Chris Drummond, the junior out of Washington, D.C., had to sit down, fall it in, and catch it right in the numbers, but he did hold on, and that's a first down for the Tigers. It'll make it first down and 10. A Yang by at the 49. On the, sorry, Chris. A Yang by on that right side tackle did a pretty good job against Gephardt that time. Stood him up. Pass protection again hasn't been the issue as Terry mentioned. It's been uh, you know, bad effort on the receivers not being able to haul some of these these throws in. Just shy of midfield. Savannah State under center. They'll try the run game. Trying to spread it near side on the stretch play and cut down at the 45 yard line. The Reginald Beals trying to find room. And Valdon Cooper, great open field tackle, took his legs out from under him. And a loss on the play will back up the Tigers to the 45 yard line of their own. A loss of four will set up second and 14. But give credit to Josh Gephardt on that one, Chris, is he was able to stay in position and stretch that play out, force him out, and then Val Cooper came up, showed his speed in his tackling ability and took him out. Two receivers out wide to the left, one uh, to the left, one to the near side to the right. 7.27 to go, second quarter, second down 14 at the 45. Prunty sets up in the gun. Eagles, four-man front. Now they've got a fifth just off the left side. Here's the snap to Prunty. Movement, all kinds of movement up front. Flags come in from every direction. They'll halt play with 7.15 to go here in the second quarter. I think the Tigers, once the Eagles move that fifth man up, got a little nervous, had somebody jump. Yeah. Ball start. Number 71 at offense. Five yards. Remain second down. You could have given that to about three of those guys. Rashad Williams is playing the three technique there. That's been a position of strength, as I mentioned, for Georgia Southern. But you could have you could have tacked that one on the entire left side of the line. Epifara Monanu guilty with movement up that's front pretty, for the Tigers. That's pretty good. That's pretty second, good. Second down, 19 at the 40. Two receivers left, two to the right, short side of the field. Fronty out of a gun. So they'll spread the field. Passing situation here on second and long. Backing out of the pocket, moving to his right, gets away from one defender, now will tuck and run, and Prunty makes his way up to the 45. Rashad Williams eventually gets him down defensively for the Eagles, along with Raphael Hardy, who forced him out of the pocket. Looked to go downfield, but Prunty having to do it on his legs here in this drive, but he's moving the football for Savannah State, showing the ability to scramble on the fly is Brunty again, the freshman out of Stockbridge, Georgia. Wow, I tell you what, I like that Hardy kid. Yeah. He just took that tackle and drove him on a back pedal into his quarterback. That was impressive. Third down, 14 at the 45 of their very own. Again, four wide, two to the left, two to the right, movement up front. That time it looked like the right side of that offensive line out of sync just a tad as I am by you jumped up front Fall for start. the Tigers. And he was the Number same one that Hardy offense. drove back. I mean, he looked Five like he yards. was on roller skates. Remain third down. So good job by Hardy. Six foot one freshman out of Kingsland, Georgia. 270 pounder. Good to see that effort from him. So that'll back up the Tigers. It's one way to eat up the clock. Six minutes, 15 seconds remaining. First half, Eagles up 21 to nothing over the Savannah State Tigers after a slow start offensively, admittedly, by the Eagles. Here's a sack. Prunty has nowhere to go. Team sack about five Eagles led by Josh Gebhardt. Got to him first. Kyle Olbeck comes to help clean him up, and Prunty goes down. Another loss on the play sets up fourth down and forever, and John Barron will have to come and kick it away. Nice play again by Hardy, Olbeck, and Josh Gebhardt. Up front defensively for Georgia Southern. Great sack. Linebacker blitz called in. Butler standing now, getting ready to field the punt. Official telling Butler to make sure he does a clear indication of a fair catch as he stands on his own 35-yard line, only giving this punter the respect of about 30 yards. So Barron stands. He'll have to short hop and get this one away. Spiraling kick, line drive. Butler has to get out of the way and nearly hit it with his foot at the 40. It'll take a Tiger bounce inside the 30, inside okay. the 25. They'll down it at the 22-yard line. And Butler dangerously close at that ball. Able to hit the ground. He had to get out of the way. If that would have hit his ankle, foot, or leg, Savannah State could have made some hay out of it with 5-12 to go here in the first half. The Eagles will have a chance to bring it out on offense. Georgia Southern so far 
on the afternoon, 239 Ball will be placed at the 26-yard line, the spot of the illegal touching. First down, Georgia Southern. Savannah State struggling offensively, just 43 yards of total offense so far as Kevin Ellison, William Banks will dot the offensive backfield. Ellison successful in leading a scoring drive last time out for the Eagles. First down, 10. They mark it at the 26-yard line of Georgia Southern. Ellison keep on the midline. Breaks a tackle at the 30. Ellison loose across the middle of the field. No one able to get to him till he makes it to the 48-yard line. Eventually, Wayne Johnson able to track him down. A great run by Kevin Ellison, picking up huge yardage on first down. It's a Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles with 5.02 to go here in the second quarter. <laughs> Coach Monk and coaching Ellison on the sideline said, did you have the pitch open? And he kind of, you know, it, it's not like he didn't do a good, but he, he's always coaching him there as Banks is in there at, at the B-back. William Banks in with Ellison. First down 10 at the Eagle 48-yard line. 4.45 to go here in the first half. Ellison looking to throw, steps back in the pocket, throwing the seam route down the middle, incomplete. Down around the 15-yard line, they were looking for Contrella Showers, coverage all over him, and eventually a flag comes out. This will be defensive pass interference as Showers looking for the football, and it looked like Gregory Brown was riding on top of him. He'll be the guilty party for the pass interference. I, I don't know if it's Brown. It might have been early. Yeah, I, it just... From down here on the field, I don't know. It might go either way. Well, I think because he didn't give the receiver because the defender wasn't making a play on the Pass ball. Pass interference. Either. Number 26 of the defense. But that's it. You're 15 right, yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. I mean, that safety was making a play on the ball as we watched the replay there, but he had no idea, and all he was doing was putting his hand out to showers, kind of like a basketball player does as he checks him out, and that's why they threw that flag. And anytime you see that hand extend, the official, the backside official is going to throw that flag. Torrance Hunter checks in as a slot back for Georgia Southern. Zach Walker, a receiver to the near side. Ellison under center after the infraction. First down and 10 now at the Tiger 37-yard line. Ellison looking to throw. Quick fire. Near side. Walker's got it at the 28. Makes his way down to the 26. Wayne Johnson there on coverage and brings down Walker fairly quickly. Set up. Nice pitch and catch. Good look, good looking good to see Walker haul that one in. A little banked up here in fall camp. And what a, an exceptional receiver Walker can be for Georgia Southern. Franklin first down for the Eagles as Dominique Swope checks back in at B-back after William Banks doing duty on the last two drives. First down, 10 at the 26. Ellison under center, 21-0, 4.17 to go here in the second quarter. This time the give to Swope. Up the middle, breaks free, gets to the 15, gets out to the right hash, dropped there as he gets to about the 13-yard line. Travion Ashford eventually trips him up. But nice run by Dominic Swope, who has really racked up the yards so far this afternoon. And to credit the offensive line for giving him an, a massive hole to run through basically all afternoon. Swope getting close to 90 yards on the ground. Jarek McKinnon just shy of 100 by six. He's got 94 yards. Kevin Ellison already at 51. First down and 10 at the 13-yard line of Savannah State. Eagles back in the clubhouse red zone. Pitch coming to Devin Scott. Deep in the hole and off the mark. Scott having to go back, get it with his right hand. His knee touched the ground. He'll be down there. And the Eagles will lose yardage back to the 21-yard line. A loss of about eight yards on that miscommunication. Jonathan Bryant and Trey Butler back in as slot backs, but that one off the mark. On the pitch from Ellison to Devin Scott. Georgia Southern entering the clubhouse red zone. Clubhouse proudly supports the Eagles. Come on in after the game for over 40,000 square feet of fun, like bowling, laser tag, arcade, and a full restaurant and bar. Clubhouse proud Lee. supporter of Georgia Southern Athletics. Second down and 19 as they mark it back at the 22-yard line. Eagles up 21-0, 306 to go. Here in the first half, working from the far side hash, attacking right to left. They'll have two receivers out wide to the right. Contrella showers, lone receiver to the left. Ellison, late pitch in the hole, throws as he's hit, gets it to Bryant, coming near side, inside the 20, and dropped at the 19-yard line after a pickup of three. That will set up third down and 16 with 2.42 to play. And now Savannah State trying to bow up defensively after the Eagles having their way on the last three possessions inside the red zone. And Savannah State 
trying to keep the Eagles out here and head into halftime with just a three score deficit as we're under two and a half minutes to play. Daquan Hurd will check in as a receiver far side for the Eagles. One lone receiver to the left in showers. They'll put Brian in the slot right side. Shotgun snap. Ellison sprint out far side. Throw into the corner off the mark and incomplete. Far side out of bounds. It will set up fourth down and 17. They were looking for Monte Crockett, the redshirt freshman out of Rock Hill. Again, just to repeat, uh, Ellison has been in the ball game since that late first quarter. Uh, Jarek's fine. They have just made the decision to give him some rest here in the first half and give the opportunity to Ellison, who, like Terry mentioned, has looked very good. The offense has looked in rhythm and, and, and quick and fast as well. So on fourth and 17, Connor Tierney will try it again. He's 0 for 2 from field goals. He'll try it here. From 37 yards out, hash mark left. This one's got plenty of leg. He's hit. But it goes through and it's good. Connor Tierney, three times a charm for the freshman out of Augusta, Georgia. As they were able to come in and hit the kicker now, our referee will come over, talk to Coach Munkin. I can't believe, let's see. It's one of those decisions do you take points off the board? You're inside the yes, red zone. Yes, you do. So they will talk it. <laughs> Personal it foul. Like First up. Roughing the kicker out of defense. The penalty's half the distance. Automatic first down. Yep. The Eagles will take the points off the board. Savannah Stake with a deadly miscue. John Wilson, the guilty party. It's good to see Tierney split the uprights, however, yeah. after missing his first two. That's what got me excited. So we're happy <laughs> to let him recount, take over on downs, or rather take over with a first down. But to see the ball go through those yellow posts, I'm sure brings a smile to many Eagle fans here in attendance. But the mistake will put it down first down and 10 for the Eagles first down and goal to goal as Dylan Turner and he stayed focused Chris into the lineup as a receiver out wide to the right side on first down and goal to goal just inside the 10 the give up the middle to Dominique Swopers he'll make his way to the five yard line picking up four and a half five yards as we hit under two minutes to go in the first half coming up the Southern halftime report. Russ Brown will take a look at the first half stats, get you up to date on scores around the country. Zach Lonis, St. Amour, the right side of that Georgia Southern line has been awful good today. And you see how big that hole is that you've noticed Swope is kind of skipping into the hole. That'll give you the idea of the width that they've been able to push through there on the right side. Second down, goal to go from the five yard line. Ellison under center. It's time no motion Bryant to give to Swope running off left tackle headed towards the goal line. He's in with a six on it. Touchdown Georgia Southern. Dominique Swope moving the pile gets across the goal line to make it 27 to nothing a minute 21 to play and now some face masks getting locked up down at the goal line and everyone having a chat about how the semester's going so far. They break that up. We'll have a chance for a point after as Connor Tierney now who's been able to hit it from point after is able to hit the first field goal although it will not be in the record books as it's waved off after a personal foul call against the Tigers. But with 121 to go the Eagles now starting to put their foot on the gas after a real slow start I can only imagine the discussion that will take place in the locker room as coach Munkin cannot be pleased with about the first 10 minutes of this game after that things have gotten on track here's the point after attempt ball is up ball is good it's 28 to nothing a minute 21 there's a flag on the play as now flag starting to bog things down here well, again it's that angle towards the kicker let's see which way that's going to go again as we mentioned on the first field goal it was clearly personal foul roughing their angle but proud of Connor for staying focused and kicking up through there. personal foul number four the defense that 15 yard penalty will be on the kickoff the point is good well Hanks has been kicking it deep in the end zone Chris he shouldn't have a problem with an extra 15 yards minute 21 to go 28 nothing our score Georgia Southern leading over Savannah State take a timeout we'll return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment from Nelligan Sports this is Georgia Southern football Stadium on this Saturday night as the sun slowly making its way down towards your southern leading 28 to nothing in the opening game of 2013. Time now to send it back down to the field. Ryan Chambers has the Knox Pest Control sideline report. And Ryan, tonight a celebration 
of some championship teams here at Georgia Southern. Yeah, you'll notice on your ticket stub tonight, titled Night of Champions, they're going to start doing this more often, trying to pay homage to some of the championship teams throughout the years down in the West End Zone tonight, as you'll see in the halftime. But if you're here in the stadium, you'll see now 1993 in the 2012 football, the 1999, 1996, and Southern Conference champs, 2013 softball teams will all be recognized here at the half. Ryan Nowicki comes on, a little onside kick try. And Patrick Stevenson able to cover it up for the Tigers at the 40 yard line. Interesting move there as Nowicki, the sophomore out of Peachtree City, coming in. Alex Hanks handling the kickoffs up to that point. They try a little onside kick. Savannah State, good hand teams in place and able to avoid a disaster here down 28 to nothing to Georgia Southern with a minute 19 to go here in the first half. Domino's Pizza Drive Delivery presented by Domino's Pizza Proud sponsor of Georgia Southern Athletics. The Georgia Southern Domino's is open really late. Give them a call at 912-681-4326 in Statesboro. Go to dominoes.com. First down 10 at the 34 after the onside attempt. Leon Prunty brings down the Tiger offense once again. Two receivers left, two to the right, one long back. Prunty looking near side all the way, throws it, following it in, and the catch made by Cantrell Frazier near side makes his way out of bounds at about the 37 maybe the 38 yard line after a good field goal but yet personal foul roughing the kicker takes the points off the board the Eagles go in to score eight plays 77 yards three minutes and 51 seconds <laughs> Prunty trying to get the snap off with under a minute to play and movement again as Savannah State Struggling, staying disciplined. That will be their ninth penalty on the evening. They have racked up 75 yards of penalty yards so far. Georgia Southern on the ground, 256 yards. They've thrown for 18 yards. 291 yards of total offense so far for Coach Munkin and company. Savannah State struggling just 43 yards of total offense through nearly two quarters of action. After the infraction, sets up second down five for the Tigers at their own 39-yard line, attacking left to right. When Neal here is the sun once again making its way down. We got red sky. Oh, sorry. Number 70, the offense. Five yards from the previous spot. It will be second down. This foul qualifies for a 10-second runoff. Please set the stadium clock to 43.6 seconds. Start the clock on my signal. Team in action at Eagle Field for those Eagle fans staying in town. Good, good crowd last night. Yeah, very good crowd at Eagle Field. Coach Kennedy and company well underway in the 2013 campaign. Love to have you out at Eagle Field tomorrow afternoon. Clock begins to roll, 40 minutes or 40 seconds in counting as Prunty out of a gun on second down and 10 from the 34, backpedaling, pressure comes, trying to drop it off in the flat. Looking for Sheldon Barnes at the 30-yard line, it's incomplete. Kyle Olbeck was right there in front of Prunty. Looked like he wanted to do a five-step drop. He did about 12 and then unleashed. Good read by Kyle on the, on the screen from that linebacker position. He could see it developing, it went in there. Josh Rowe coming off. Looks like he needs a breath. Third down, one of seven for Savannah State on the day so far at third down. Third down, 10 at the 34 with 32 seconds remaining. Two wide to the left, two to the right. Shotgun snap for Prunty. Pressure coming late. Pressure steps up in the pocket is Prunty. Now he backpedals, coming near side. Buys some time, throws this one off his foot and out of bounds near side. Prunty. Able to extend that play, give him credit, looking for Simon Hayward. Gebhardt and Jonathan Battle chasing him all over the field. And Prunty able to stretch that play out, but it sets up fourth down and 10 at the 34. With 20 seconds remaining here in the first half, it will be a punting situation for John Barron. Want to send out condolences to Roger Inman, who is his Georgia Southern True Blue, as you will find, on the death of his mother earlier this week. He is unable to be here tonight, and that is a rarity. You talk about Haley's Comet. Roger Inman not being at a home football game, it just doesn't happen. But we certainly wish him and his family our condolences. And we look forward to having Roger back real soon. Here's the punt from Barron, nearly blocked, and it may have gotten just tipped as it takes a Georgia Southern bounce at midfield. James Dean, I don't, the backup I don't, fullback from a year ago in on special teams, came in on John Barron. He may have gotten a piece. If not, certainly disrupted the punt. 
And the Eagles will play with half the field with the ball placed at the Eagle 49. They'll actually place it right at midfield with 11.5 seconds to go. Let's see what the Eagles offer up. I don't think Coach Munkin's happy with a 28-0 lead. I know that sounds funny. No. But missed opportunities early in this game. We'll see what they offer up here. I'll be surprised, to be honest with you, if they take a knee. I think they'll run a play as Ellison will trot out the offense. William Banks will be the B-back. They'll send trip receivers to the left side as they'll have a single back shotgun set from the far side hash. Ellison looking, has time, launches this down the middle of the field. Jump ball looking for Butler off his shoulder pad and incomplete down around the goal line. Boy, that was close. Wayne Johnson on coverage for Savannah State and Butler got up between two Tigers and the ball I think ricocheted off his shoulder pad because it launched about 20 yards into the air it's incomplete second down 10 at midfield with 3.1 seconds before we go to the half now he threw that in double coverage i'll throw that first of all that was a beautiful tight spiral pass didn't think butler was going to have a chance at it and he did second down 10 ball at midfield three seconds to go before the end of the first half ellison again single back set Looking to throw, pump fakes. Now steps to his right, out of the pocket. Buy some more time. Jitterbugs at about midfield, then finally drug down, out of bounds, far side. That's the end of the first half. So the teams will head to the locker room. Georgia Southern leading 28 to nothing over the Savannah State Tigers. Coming up, we'll have a chance to talk with Eagle head coach Jeff Munkin. Stay tuned, we'll have the Southern halftime report coming up, but let's go down on the field. And here from Coach Munkin, here's Ryan Chambers. Ryan. Coach, an impressive first half from your defense. Tell us what you saw defensively as you go to the half. I'd like to know who's impressed. Certainly not me. That's about the sloppiest 28 to nothing I've ever seen. That's sickening. Give us an idea of the thoughts of both quarterbacks here in the first half. One's not feeling well in there, McKinnon. He's got an upset stomach, so we took him out. We wanted to get the other guy some work. He's getting some work. I did, that's just about as sloppy as it can be. I don't, I don't know if we can win a game playing like this. Appreciate it, Coach Guys. No surprise, Coach Munkin not happy with a 28-0 lead. I think a lot of it has to do Terry Harvin with the way the ball game started. Georgia Southern, great field position and just sputtered offensively, eventually able to get on track. But Kevin Ellison has really come in. He's impressed late in that second quarter. But as you can tell, and I mentioned not to be a prognosticator, but I had a feeling Coach Munkin not very happy when they head into this locker room. No, and, and he knows it, and we all know it. We've been able to get, and this is not meant as a disrespect towards Savannah State. You can get away with that today against today's Savannah State. Now the future will have this team in a better shape. You can't get away with that against a, an Appalachian State, a Wofford, or a Florida Gators, and that's what we got to think about. So we're at the half here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium. It's Champions Night. We'll tell you more about that as we continue. The Southern Halftime Report comes your way next. Russ Brown will have the first half stats. He'll have scores from around the country, highlights from the half, and much more. Stay with us. Our halftime score here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium, Georgia Southern 28, Savannah State 0 from Nelligan Sports. This is Georgia Southern football. locations here in Statesboro. Find out more by logging on to eheritagebank.com. Barron, pretty good kick, fielded at the four-yard line by Monte Crockett. Up the right hash, spins off a defender at the 22, now comes to the near side, 25-30. Jitterbugs at about the 35, brought out of bounds. Nice return for Monte Crockett, the redshirt freshman out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Cantrell Frazier eventually pushes him wide to the near side, and the Eagles take over first down and 10. Pretty good field position right around their own 35-yard line, just underway here in the third quarter. That was one of the question marks coming into the ball game is who would do the kickoff return and could they be effective as the great J.J. Wilcox was last year. Good start for Georgia Southern in that area tonight. Jarek McKinnon will start this second half under center at quarterback. First down and 10 at the 35 and before anybody can get started. <laughs> movement up front. Flags come in. Line judge near side saw some movement there. We'll find out what it's all about from our officiating crew again out of the Southern Conference. Thomas Graham our crew chief here on this Saturday night. A quick shout out to the great folks up in Atlanta watching from Twisted Taco. Offside. Number 55 of the defense moved into the neutral zone, causing the offense to move. Jovan that's a penalty Baldwin. against the defense. Guilty party Remains for the first Tigers down. as they rack up yet another penalty, and that's really been the problem tonight for the Savannah State Tigers. That will be their 10th penalty on the evening. Getting a lot of text messages from them up there, enjoying watching the game. Makes it easy, first down and five. 
This time, McKinnon, late pitch, Bryant near side. He's got running room 50, cuts inside at the 45, comes to the near sideline at the 35, eventually brought out of bounds. They'll say he's out at the 36-yard line. Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Jarek McKinnon goes about six yards before making that pitch. Marcus Smith on the stop for the Savannah State Tigers. Great block out on the corner by Dylan Turner to allow Jonathan Bryant to pick up big yardage. Sets up first down 10 at the Tiger 36-yard line. Flexbone formation. Trey Butler looking to go in motion. Now McKinnon will rise up, look to the near sideline, look for the play call card. McKinnon under center, Swope, along with Trey Butler, Jonathan Bryant. The give to Swope. Swope, for the first time tonight, really stood up. Not much room there, got about half a yard, that's it. It will be second down and a long nine, just shy of the 35-yard line. Slow getting up is Swope right now. Like you said, first time he was really stood up, ran off the left side of that line behind Trevor McBurnett there. But good penetration by the Savannah State Tigers. Swope will check out. William Banks will check back in. Had a chance to talk with Buzz Banks, father of William, last night at dinner. Second down nine. Carry to William Banks right at the gut on the dive, and he'll battle his way down to the 30-yard line and pick up a five. It'll set up third down and four. Of course, William, the younger brother of Lee, who had a career here at Georgia Southern. Banks family intricately tied to Georgia Southern University. I'm glad Banks, they are. A fantastic job last year. 72 carries, 442 yards in the campaign that ended in the semifinals. Banks will get the call again on the dive, makes his way down inside the 25. Should be enough for a Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Indeed, it is another Franklin first down. Franklin Toyota Scion, proud supporter of Georgia Southern Athletics. You'll see their great selection of award-winning Toyotas, including Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Tundras, and much more. Visit them online at franklintoyota.com, the official transportation provider of the Georgia Southern Radio Network. First down, 10 now at the Tiger 24-yard line. Eagles attacking right to left. McKinnon under center. Flex bone formation. They'll set up the option near side. McKinnon will keep it inside the tackle and down to the 20 to the 19-yard line. A pickup of five. Trevion Ashford on the stop for the Savannah State Tigers. And McKinnon with those gazelle-like steps, able to break free and get inside the 20 as they enter the clubhouse red zone. They're looking to score once again up 28 nothing with 12 25 to go here in the third quarter. Working from the left side hash second down six at the 20 yard line just inside the 20 McKinnon fumbles the snap falls down on it. He's able to cover it up and that will raise the blood pressure of coach Jeff Munkin. If he was not angry enough for those first couple of miscues in the opening possessions of the game fumbling the snap one of the things Brent Davis told me earlier in the week Jerry he was not concerned about effort he was not concerned about the ability to make big plays he was concerned about protecting the football that will drive an offensive coordinator absolutely crazy and a head coach nuts as well but that's the first time we saw that we have seen that today between Man Ray St. Amour and Jarek McKinnon the other ball on the turf was because of the pitches. 11.39, clock moving, third quarter, third down, six from the 20-yard line. Handoff Banks right up the middle, shot out of a cannon, breaks off a tackler at the 10 to the 5, slides into the end zone, put an eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. William Banks, the senior out of Augusta, Georgia, rambles his way in for the score, make it 34 to nothing with 11.30 to go here in the third quarter. That's a classic example. They're going to go back and watch this film, and they're going to talk to the guys and go, that's why you have to wrap up. You can't just hit a guy like a pinball machine. He's going to, they're going to bounce right off of him, and that's what they did. Connor Tierney on for the point after. 34 nothing. He'll kick this one into the Bishop zone. New seating here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium. If he can get it over the net, somebody may get a souvenir. Here's the kick on its way, and it's good. Perfect time of the evening. Make it 35 nothing. 11.30 to go. Third quarter. We'll take a timeout. We'll return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. First score, Georgia Southern. 35. Savannah State. This will be a 90 second media timeout.
was wondering how you would start, you know, your first full season as an AD. You, you almost screwed it up with the Lightning, by the way. yards three minutes and 19 seconds McKinnon back in at quarterback but it was William Banks doing all the damage against Savannah State finally taking it up the gut for a 20 yard run put an Eagle six on as the Eagles take a 35 to zero lead against Savannah State here early in the third quarter Domino's drive summary the Domino's pizza drive delivery presented by Domino's pizza proud sponsors of Georgia Southern Athletics the Georgia Southern Domino's is open really late Call them at 912-681-4326 in Statesboro or go to dominoes.com to get your pizza ready for tonight. Luke Cherry will tee it up at the 35-yard line. Coach Munkin saying in the pregame that they have worked very hard in the specialist department and they've used a number of guys and so far true to form they have. Connor Tierney's had a chance. Alex Hanks have had a chance and now Luke Cherry who spent time as the punter last year really has improved his kickoff ability. We'll see here short approach and here's the line drive kick. He got a foot in that one coming near side fielded at about the three yard line on the line drive Hemingway to return for Savannah State. And what a stop in open field at the 10 yard line. Georgia Southern, even on a line drive, somebody check that 40 speed. That was hit on a frozen rope and somehow Anthony Criswell, I'm sorry, Matthew Breida got down there to make the stop. Typically you'll see that on a high kick and Terry, you can say it. Yep. That was a line drive kick. That was, he put it in the corner and I gotta tell you, the running back out of Florida, freshman came showing his speed, did a very good job and it was great open field tackle on that. First down 10, they'll mark it at the 11-yard line for Savannah State. Down 35 to nothing, 11.22 to go here in the third quarter of action. Leon Prunty making his first collegiate start. He's been under duress all evening long. This time the draw out of the gun, the handoff, not much doing, trying to spread left side. He'll be dropped in the backfield as Raphael Hardy, the freshman out of Kingsland, has had a well of a night earning that starting spot. Savannah State nowhere to go as LaReginald Veals brought down after the draw, losing two yards, second down and 12, 10.58 to go. Ball placed at the nine-yard line. Split backfield. Out of the gun is Prunty. He's got one receiver near side. Inside the five, he'll take the snap. Looking to throw, has to pump fake, gets away from duress. Now brought down from behind and dropped at the seven-yard line. Georgia Southern collapses the pocket. Prunty nowhere to go. Looks like Jonathan Battle. Able you know, to get to him and create the sack, and now Savannah State starting to fold up shop. You know, Savannah State's offense hadn't gotten a whole lot of traction. I tell you, as that band, well, they don't stop, do they? They're run all right through plays and all kinds of stuff. Josh Rowe checking back into the ball game. Good to see him back in. Out last year, good to see his presence on the field, his leadership, and his ability. Third down, 13. The market at the Savannah State eight-yard line. Prunty doing nothing but moving backward with his Tiger offense here on this drive. Taking the shotgun snap. He'll stand on the goal line. Step up in the pocket. Unleashed near sideline. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Intercepted at the 46-yard line. Deion Stanley over the shoulder. Basket catch. First interception on the season for the Eagles. And they'll take it over on their side of the field with 9.53 to play. What concentration by Deion Stanley, the junior out of Dry Branch, Georgia, just over the shoulder. Beautiful catch, Willie Mays style for Georgia Southern. First turnover of the game. They'll take it back with 9.53 to go here in the third quarter. Textbook interception, Ryan. He came from his safety position, got in position, and he turned into from a safety, and he turned into the wide receiver. Well, I, I know Russ and, and you both saw enough of him back in the mid-state of Twiggs County. One of the best quarterback. He played receiver. He played everything. for You know, he's a great athlete. Played all over the field, and it was part of the resurgence 
there at Twix County. And, and you saw that, as you said, him turn into a receiver and watch that ball right in. First down, 10 at the 48. Eagles take back control on offense. William Banks the B-back. This time the pull by McKinnon. Jumping around the middle of the field, somehow finds his way inside the 40 of the Tigers and eventually brought down at the 37-yard line. Appears to be enough for a Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Micah Blount, senior out of Stone Mountain, eventually pulling down Jarek McKinnon. He had Torrance Hunter, or Torrance Hunt, Devin Scott in the backfield at A-back. William Banks getting the chance to run. Picking up a touchdown last time out. William Banks will sit in at B-back, a receiver to each side. Flex bone formation, first down and 10 now at the Tiger 48. Handoff Banks, this time up the middle, makes his way down to the 35. Just shy of the 34-yard line. Jarek doing such a good job. Swope does the same thing inside the tackles. They're dancing around in there, running strong, but they, they just have a good eye for where that hole is or where it's breaking. Dalen Turner comes back in the ball game. The junior out of Augusta, tied in, six foot three. Trellis showers the receiver to the near side. Second down and six from the 34 of the Tigers. Jet toss far side. It's going to be Torrance Hunt. He's got room far sideline. 15, 10, bounced out of bounds down around the five yard line. Torrance Hunt showing some quicks out on the corner. He'll set up first down and go for the Georgia Southern Eagles with 8.46 to go. Speed to burn offensively for Georgia Southern. Didn't see a lot of it in the first couple of drives tonight. Somehow I think Coach Munkin inspired them at halftime. He's the graduate that transferred in from East Carolina after his playing days, and he's done an amazing job. They love his leadership. First down, goal to goal from the six, right up the gut. James Dean, the sophomore out of Brunswick, getting the carry on the dive. Just out of the one-yard line. Set up second down, goal to go from about the one with 8.19 to go. Georgia Southern lines up quickly, ready to go. This time they'll give it off in the middle. This time, James Dean goes over the pile. He's in for six. And that extends the lead with 8.13 to go to make it 41 to nothing. James Dean, the sophomore out of Brunswick, Georgia, picking up his first rushing touchdown of the season. Alex Hanks will come in for the point after. It's a 41-0 Georgia Southern lead over Savannah State. Ryan asked how Hanks would handle it. We'll get the opportunity to see right now. It's just an extra point, but still getting the chance. His kickoffs tonight have been just superb. Last meeting coming in Jeff Munkin's debut as a head coach, 48-3 over Savannah State. Alex Hanks on for the point after. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 42 to nothing. Well, the kicking woes from field goals. This will be a 90-second media timeout. Well, they've awoke. 8.13 to go, third quarter. 42 nothing. Georgia Southern leads over Savannah State. We'll take a timeout. Return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern football. Remains here in the third quarter at Allen E. Paulson Stadium. 42 to nothing. Georgia Southern leads over Savannah State. Fans, the most exciting 15 seconds and an entrance of a college mascot. It happens right here at Georgia Southern. Freedom's pregame flight presented by Queensboro National Bank and Trust. Come see for yourself why people say the Q works for me. It's more than a slogan, it's a commitment to their customers. Queensboro National Bank and Trust, proud supporter of Georgia Southern University. Boy, great, great drive by Georgia Southern. Saw Kevin Ellison late in the second quarter. Terry, Jarek McKinnon, the senior quarterback, comes in, gets the job done on offense. Certainly does. McKinnon, Banks, Hunt, and Dean. Those are your guys. Five plays, 48 yards, a buck 40. Puts the Eagles up 42 to nothing. Good to see Hunt out there, the graduate that came in from East Carolina out of Durham, North Carolina. The Domino's Pizza Drive Delivery presented by Domino's Pizza, proud sponsor of Georgia Southern Athletics. Georgia Southern Domino's is open really late, folks. 912-681-4326 in Statesboro. Go to dominoes.com. They'll deliver a pizza right here, I would imagine, to your tailgate spot as Luke Cherry gets ready to kick off tonight. Chris? Cherry back on for kickoff duties. Some of the fans already headed to celebrate here with a 42-0 game. 
Cherry's kick high, but not very deep. Fielded by Daquan Daniels. States for a high product up the middle of the field. Gets through the initial surge, makes it to the 25. A flag comes out behind the play at about the 17. We'll see what that is all about. Let's check down on the sidelines. Knox pest control, see what's the latest on the Eagles from the sideline, Ryan? Yeah, Dorian Bird has been ruled out the rest of the game. Left ankle injury. They'll reevaluate come tomorrow. And uh, as far as Jarek McKinnon is concerned, uh, some stomach issues, just a, a sick in the first half, sick this morning, saying that they felt better. They were going to just during the return, holding number 36 of the return team, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, first down. Back to Jarek, they were uh, just going to see how he felt in the, in the second half. It was kind of a 50-50 shot, and I'd say he looks pretty good. 11th penalty on the night against Savannah State. Chris with that one for 90 yards. Obviously something they need to work on as they get backed up to their old their own goal line. Josh Rowe, by the way, took that kickoff return man, picked him up and slammed him to the ground. 8.05 to go, third quarter. First down at 10, back at the 10 after the infraction. Zach Hutchinson, sophomore quarterback out of Noonan, Georgia. Well, now check in for Coach Wilson. The flowing curls out of the shotgun. He'll take the snap handoff and breaking loose after being hit initially. Finding a little bit of room beyond the 10 yard line. Oh, Harbo used to wear Reginald Veals. Harbo used to wear it like that, didn't he? Well, he has flowing hair. I had a mullet. So there's a little <laughs> different. Of course, that was in style back there with Billy Ray. <laughs> Josh Gebhardt with the stop defensively. Never thought we would reference Billy Ray Cyrus in a broadcast, but you somehow made it happen. Yeah, well, getting he back knows to the old Billy Ray over making him and the boys over what's his part name's place. It's open late. Second down 10 at the 10 yard line as Beal's able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Hutchinson shotgun snap throws across the middle this time sprint out to Simon Hayward. He's got room up across the 20 25 finally sprung up at the 32 yard line. Matt Dobson in at safety the sophomore and a Monticello Florida able to make the stop again Dobson making the transition from offense to defense highly touted quarterback coming out of the Sunshine State and just a headhunter smart football IQ great athlete and loves to put a helmet on somebody and Dobson's moved now to safety comes up with a stop there but not before the Tigers pick up a first down it'll be first down and 10 at the 33 they'll send two receivers right to the left side short side of the field as they scrimmage from the far side hash left to right on your dial first down and 10 at the 33 yard line of their very own Hutchinson got a back on a wing to a left side play clock nearly down snap out of the gun is on the dirt Hutchinson has to pick it up and he's dropped immediately as he got to about the 32 maybe lost a yard before Carlos cave comes in to make the stop Carlos came from one end Edwin Jackson from the other took it right down to the wire the snap was low barely hanging on they pulled him down by hair Loss of two, it'll be second down at 12 at the 31 yard line. 619 to go here in the third quarter. Eagles up 42 to nothing. Savannah State, Ernest Wilson the third. Again, he and his staff brought in midsummer around early July. Difficult spot to be in as Hutchinson out of the gun. Swing pass near side and can't hold on. Bills had it in his hand, had some running room. But I think he heard footsteps from Tay Hicklin, the sophomore out of Rock Hill, and he did not follow the ball in. It's incomplete. Sets up third down and 12 at the 31-yard line of the Tigers. These receivers have not helped their quarterbacks tonight for Savannah State. So I would imagine they'll do some ball-catching drills sometime this week. Leon Prunty will check back in at quarterback. Six of 20, Chris, for a team that likes to pass. And uh, on the night so far, they're one of nine. Check that Hutchinson back in at QB. He'll work in the gun. Two receivers left, two to the right. Going back deep in the hole again. Swing pass. This one off the mark. This time on the quarterback. Overthrows the Reginald Beals. That one out of the fingertips. That'll set up fourth down and 12 at the 31. 5:56 to go. Beyond midway here in the third quarter. Be interesting to see for Coach Jeff Munkin 
how they do this from this point on. Jarek McKinnon started the first offensive drive of the third quarter. The Eagles go down and score, really put the game out of reach at 42 to nothing. We'll see. He was not very happy going into the locker room about the crisp play or the lack of crisp play on offense. We'll see. When do you see Vegas Harley in? Get him some reps as well. Jonathan Bryant this time will be back to field this punt from John Barron, who stands at the 15 yard line of his own. Low snap, quick punt, got it away. It's high, not very deep. And trying to field it is Bryant. And Bryant with a catch at the 40. Savannah State times it out perfectly, brings him down there. Good no punt. gain on the play. Excellent punt by Barron. And with 5.46 to go, It'll set up first down and 10. They'll mark the ball at the Eagle 41 yard line. Fans remember to join us each Monday night live from Locos Grill and Pub on Briarwood Lane in Statesboro for Inside Georgia Southern Football with Jeff Munkin live on the radio. You can call in or you can tweet us live. Great food, great friends, Georgia Southern Football. It's all at Locos Grill and Pub. Kevin Ellison will check in at quarterback. Ellison on the afternoon, excellent job for the red shirt freshman out of Cornelius, Georgia. Two of four passing, 14 yards. Able to run the football. Look good at times. Five carries, 51 yards. Shotgun snap at his ankles. He picks it up. He'll come near side. He's going to improvise. 45 50. Cuts outside, near sideline 40. Back to the middle of the field to the 30. Eventually brought down at the Savannah State 28 yard line. We've got an Eagle slow to get up near midfield. Trey Butler slow to get up. Training crew gets to him quickly. What a run by Kevin Ellison. Beautiful run for the red shirt freshman. After a low snap down around the shoestrings, he just picks it up and says, I got to move forward, and he does so. Good blocking downfield. Also, some backup offensive linemen getting some playing time. Jeff Ward in the ballgame out of Swanee. First, right tackle. First down, 10 at the 29. Trip receivers right side. Ellison out of a gun. Banks to his left. High snap. Hand off to Hunt. Hunt trying to stretch it near side. Gets inside the 30. Back to the line of scrimmage this time. Savannah State had the entire right side of their defensive front on that side. And they bring him down. Virtually no gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10 at the 29. As we hit the five-minute mark here in the third quarter. Georgia Southern opening game 2013, as I mentioned. 400th game in the modern Georgia Southern era. Opening season, their last season in FCS football, their last season in the Southern Conference. Second down nine, they'll say, at the 28-yard line. Ellison up under center, working out of the flex bone. Long snap count as Ellison calls for it. Off to Banks, or rather Dean. Dean off left tackle, able to get inside the 20, down to about the 17-yard line. Nice pickup. Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. There's James Dean already with one touchdown on the evening. Dean and Banks, they're going to get you five, can break it to 15. <laughs> Not a bad backup to a slope. James Dean playing linebacker early on in fall camp before being brought back. On the offensive side of the ball, here's Dean leapfrogging over after the dive to the 10, still on his feet as he stood up and dropped at about the seven yard line. And Dean getting in the air, showing some hops there. It's a great pickup on first down deep inside the clubhouse red zone here for the Georgia Southern Eagles already up 42 to nothing over the Savannah State Tigers. It's a good push from that offensive line not giving up continuing that surge as Dean's leaping through and now it's first and goal ball in the spot of like the eight yard line. Here's the four wide set again Walker the wide receiver to the left and now a timeout taken Georgia Southern on three occasions tonight have gone to the shotgun time and one back Georgia set. Southern time, Coach Munkin their first time out with what he saw calls the timeout with 355 to go here in the third quarter we'll take a timeout as well Georgia Southern up 42 to nothing over Savannah State it's cruise control for the Eagles and they're knocking on the door inside the clubhouse red zone when we return to Paulson Stadium in just a moment this is Eagle football from Nelligan Sports on the Georgia Southern radio network and so First down, goal to goal from the eight. Rolls into the end zone. Kevin Ellison, left corner, gets in for the score to make it 48 to nothing as we start with 3.48 to go here in the third quarter. Georgia Southern, after calling the timeout with a four wide set, decides to go right back to the bread and butter on the ground. 
and Ellison gets in for the score. Alex Hanks on for the point after as the Eagles extend the lead. Coach is very pleased next door with Zach Lonis on that play as he continued to stay down saying stay with the block stay with the block. Hanks waiting on the snap here it comes set is there kick is on its way and the kick is good. So the Eagles make it 49 to nothing. Last meeting between Georgia Southern and Savannah State 48 to 3 right now. The Tigers looking at a goose egg with 348 remaining in the third quarter. We'll take another timeout. We'll return to Paulson Stadium in just a moment. You're listening to Eagle Football from Nelligan Sports on the Georgia Southern Radio Network. Georgia Southern Football proudly supported by Zaxby's in your neighborhood Zaxby's restaurant. Zaxby's indescribably good for over 20 years. 49-0 our score here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium on opening day for 2013. Eagles lead the Savannah State Tigers. Luke Terry will tee it up again at the 35, kicking right to left. Slight breeze in his favor. This time over end and fielded at the goal line. Daquan Daniels again will try to Bring it up the near side up to about the 20. I'll say you stepped out of bounds at about the 19 yard line. That's where Savannah State will take over. Hey guys, while we have a moment, I, I wanted to say I know I can speak for you guys a quick hello to uh, Matthew Bean, Rick Bean's son, who's over in uh, Kandahar, Afghanistan. Uh, we were talking in the pregame about all the great military uh, watching us overseas, but Matt Bean over there watching in Kandahar, Afghanistan, Military Appreciation Day, October 12th against the Citadel. A lot of big uh, events planned for that. If you don't have your tickets, make it out to Paulson for that day. Of course, they're able to listen by going to GSEagles.com, but you can also listen and watch live. I knew you on had your, a good library uh, on that. your phone. Well, it's a great website. I'm so excited about it. Everybody that uses it. I know a lot of people are listening via tonight. First down 10 at the 20 and before Savannah State can get underway, we've got whistles and I believe Coach Wilson may have called for a timeout. He did not like what he saw, and so he'll call a quick timeout with 3.42 to go. The time Domino's out Pizza Savannah Drive State. delivery presented by Domino's Pizza. Their first time out. Georgia Southern Athletics, the Georgia Southern Domino's, is open late, folks. So tonight when you're tailgating, go ahead and give them a call. 912-681-4326 in Statesboro. Go to dominoes.com. For more information, Ellison is a 12-yard run. Great blocking by Zach Colonis, the senior out of Ackworth, Georgia. Dean several carries on it as well as Georgia Southern puts a commanding nail in the coffin. to go up 49 to nothing over Savannah State. Chris and Alex Hanks comes in with the point after. 3.42 remaining, and it's still the third quarter. Georgia Southern, a slow start in this game. And you could hear it in the voice of Coach Jeff Munkin when they made their way to the sidelines at halftime. He was not happy at all, though leading 28 to nothing. It's first down and 10 at the 28 for Savannah State with 3.42 to go. Hutchinson back in at quarterback, the backup quarterback out of the gun. Has a little bit of time. Now Jets one near side. Spin made by Daniels. Nice move after he got the short pass near side. Makes it up to about the 19 and maybe the 20 yard line may have lost half a yard as Raphael Hardy and Kyle Ovec right there in the vicinity to make the stop. All Take back. Juan Daniels again. Incredible running back at Statesboro High playing for the Blue Devils had highlights his freshman sophomore junior and senior year deciding to play his collegiate career at Savannah State. Getting a chance to play as a freshman here on second down 10 at the 20 with 305 to go in the third quarter Hutchinson. Shotgun snap. Here comes the pressure and throw across the middle. Catch made by Hayward. He's off to the races. 35 40 across midfield. Spun out of bounds far side. Deion Stanley forces him out wide. They tried that play on two occasions tonight. Just the sweep across the middle. Hayward has been the recipient both times, and both times he's put on the Jets and shown his speed. It'll set up first down and 10 at the 49 of the Eagles as Savannah State will move the chains. Darius Safford, this cornerback out of Douglas, Georgia, in hot pursuit, not able to stay with him. It was a crossing route. Very good job by the quarterback there to deliver that. First down 10 at the 49 yard line. Savannah State playing on the Eagles side of the field. The first time in what seems forever. Hutchinson shotgun snap looking 
to his left. Now spreading right, tosses this high in the air, coming back for it, but incomplete at the 21 is Edward Lackey Jr. And we may have pass interference from Darius Safford again, who got beyond the receiver, had to come back. Lackey found it first, and Safford guilty of holding on to the arms. No doubt about it, but you know what? You got burned, so it's not a bad hold. <laughs> Go ahead and take him down. This is not Pass the Pass interference. Number 16 of the defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Third penalty of the night for Georgia Southern. They've done a very good job in that department here in the opening game. That's one of the concerns you have as a Correct coaching staff. Every coaching staff. The foul is on number Day six. One. Always concerned about being disciplined, not making silly mistakes. Savannah State has struggled in that regard. Georgia Southern picking up just their third penalty. It'll set up first down and 10 at the 34 of Georgia Southern as Savannah State marches left to right. Hutchinson in relief at quarterback. One back to the right side. Four receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Here's a quarterback draw and nowhere to go for Hutchinson. He gets to the 35. May have lost a yard as Justice Ajike, the junior out of Covington, Georgia, coming up to make the stop. Georgia Southern early opportunities, missing on two field goals to start the game. The Eagles would eventually get on the board. Jarrett McKinnon would get it started like a firework. 66 yards on the ramble. First play of scrimmage gets the Eagles up seven to nothing. Devin Scott would take a touchdown reception to make it 14 to nothing. Eagles started to get on track offensively. Built up a 28 nothing lead at the half. Second down 11 at the 35 for the Tigers. Shotgun snap Hutchinson. Looking right, tosses this one, near side. Jump ball, incomplete at the goal line. Double coverage that time for Georgia Southern. Simon Hayward, the intended receiver. Darius Safford, the corner. Step for step down the near side. Some help over the top from the safety position. And it's all she wrote, and it's incomplete. Third down, 11 at the 35-yard line. Best field position for Savannah State in quite a while. You know if you're Coach Ernest Wilson the third. You're looking at that scoreboard, Terry. 136 to go in the third. Still a lifetime left in this game, but you see 49 to nothing. You're this close inside Georgia Southern territory. You do not want to come up empty-handed. If you're Jack Curtis, you, you want to keep pitching a shutout. I think we got away with one there. That was a good shot by Savannah State. Third down, 11 at the 35. Hutchinson backpedaling. Five-step drop from behind. Tosses this out. Far side catch is made by Alex Simmons, bailing out his quarterback. Josh Gebhard had Hutchinson down on the ground about an inch away from his knee touching the grass as he delivers that one. Sets up fourth down in about six. So a playable down here and Hutchinson will stay on the field and Savannah State will gamble with 125 clock moving third quarter on fourth and six at the 30 of Georgia Southern. It's been a tough day for Savannah State on third down. This will be their first fourth down attempt of the evening. What do they have to lose? Down 49, nothing. Fourth down cross. and six. Shotgun snap, Hutchinson throwing for the end zone. One-on-one -on -one coverage over the shoulder. Catch made at the two. They'll say he's down to the one-inch line. What a catch by Cantrell Frazier. Great throw by Hutchinson. And that was a design play. They weren't looking for six yards, Terry. They were looking for pay dirt, and they're about a foot and a half shy of getting it. Darius Jones on coverage. The freshman out of Woodruff, South Carolina, not able to stay with the receiver, but give credit to the quarterback and the receiver for Savannah State to stay focused. And here they are knocking on the door of Georgia Southern. Defensive coaches who for the Eagles near sideline. Trying to get the defense to bow up. First down, goal to go from the one. Jumbo set, Hutchinson under center. And flags come out, movement up front. They got a little nervous. I think they got too close to the goal line. They haven't seen it in a while. No, they haven't even smelled it. But I wouldn't be surprised if they actually call this against the quarterback as he's leaning in before the snap to his center, basically pushing him as he snaps the ball. Waiting to see. False start. By the offensive line, five yards. The whole line. Remains first down. Just give it to the whole line. The whole locks of them. <laughs> Didn't want to call favorites there. They give it to the entire offensive line. So that'll back up the Tigers who looked at goal. First down and goal at the one. Now it'll be second down and goal, or rather first down and goal from the six-yard line. 33 seconds, clock moving here in the third quarter. As they'll move from under center now. Back to that shotgun formation. Hutchinson. 
Too wide to the right. They'll motion a receiver right to left. Hutchinson takes the snap, throwing single coverage over the top. Catch is made. Savannah stayed in the end zone. Chris Drummond holds it in, and it makes it 49 to 6 with 19 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. And a defeated looking towards the southern sideline, not happy with giving up the score just moments before the third quarter comes to an end. Robert Bryce on coverage again. The backups getting a lot of playing time now with such a commanding lead. Defensive back freshman out of Decatur, Georgia played the Southwest DeKalb. Robert Bryce there, but good learning experience for these guys too. And of course, as a defense coordinator, you'd love to have that shutout. Several punts, just one kickoff, and now John Barron, the freshman out of Marietta, Georgia, a chance for a point after for the first time in his career. Kick is up and the kick is good. 49 to 7 our score. 19 seconds remain here in the third quarter. We'll take a timeout. We'll return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern Football. Got to the goal line there. Five yard pass gets him in. Seven plays, 49 yards. Savannah State finally on the board. 49 to 7 for the Tigers as they kick off to Georgia Southern for only the second time tonight. Monte Crockett will take the kickoff at the five. Come up the right side, now turn it near side. Flag comes out at the 15. Crockett still looking for room, gets across the 30 before he's brought out of bounds near side. With eight seconds remaining here in the third quarter, we'll see what the infraction is all about. Calling that against the Eagles, probably blocking the back, but uh, I'm not so sure on that one. But it's only our fourth penalty on the night. If it holds, it'll back the Eagles up. But again, that that drive by Savannah State during the return on the board, illegal blocking the back by the return team, 10 yards, first down. And again, good looking pass from their quarterback, and then the end, just a little dump pass in there for Chris, and he was able to pull it in. Domino's Pizza Drive Delivery presented by Domino's Pizza. The more I read this, the hungry I get. For Georgia Brown's Southern, Georgia number Southern 73 has changed jerseys, is now wearing number 72. Tonight. So call them at 912-681-4326, or you, always you can go to dominoes.com. 16,528, the attendance here at Paulson Stadium tonight for the opening game of 2013. Kevin Ellison, We'll continue the reins of the offense for Coach Munkin and Brent Davis, the offensive coordinator, with just 8.2 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. 49 to 7, our score. Ellison out of a gun, single back set. Two receivers right, one to the left side. Snap gets away from Ellison in the end zone. He's going to be dropped for a safety. That's a bad snap. Looked like Ellison could handle it. May have taken his eye off of it. Wasn't perfect selection. But again, a safety, and that will draw the ire of Coach Jeff Munkin and the staff on the near sideline. If I'm Kevin Ellison, I may head to the construction site. And if I'm the center, Andy Kwan, I probably do the same. Well, yeah, like I said, we're getting some backups in to get some playing time, and that's what you call a compound mistake. Bad snap, and then he didn't do anything with it. So with 4.5 seconds remaining, the Eagles will have to free kick it back to Savannah State, and they make it a 49-9 game, and that's just sloppy, and that's the thing that Georgia Southern and Coach Jeff Munkin Boy, that will get him fired up. Georgia Southern football fans proudly presented by Georgia Farm Bureau and your Georgia Farm Bureau agents since 1959 serving the interests and insurance needs of Georgia residents and Georgia residents only. In other words, we're from your street, not Wall Street. While we have a moment, let's pause 10 seconds. Station identification. Great stations across the state of Georgia. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern football. Stadium Verizon the official wireless provider to Georgia Southern Athletics 4.5 ticks remain here in the third quarter 49 to 9 Georgia Southern leads over Savannah State a safety now will present a free kick Eagles will have to give it back to Savannah State Kevin Ellison the redshirt freshman quarterback outside of that miscue on the snap and resulting in the safeties really had a great night seven carries 85 yards a rushing touchdown 
Ellison two of four passing for 25 yards. But something tells me when they get in the film room tomorrow, they'll be pointing out that shotgun snap that resulted in the safety. Luke Cherry will have the free kick. They'll tee it up at the 20 yard line, kicking right to left. Here comes Cherry with the kick. Gets a foot in this one, end over end. Fielded at the 20 yard line by Daquan Daniels. Up the near side, lowers his shoulder at the 35 and punches his way to about the 38 yard line. And we've got some extracurricular activity and some conversation there. And the referees separate and we end the third quarter of play. No harm, no foul. 49 to 9, Georgia Southern leads over Savannah State in the opening game of 2013. We'll return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern football. Mammoth and make ice cream with liquid nitrogen. Sounds like fun. It's at Georgia Southern STEM Festival on Saturday, September 14th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. A free event celebrating science, technology, engineering, and math. For more information, visit georgiasouthern.edu slash STEM Fest. 15 minutes up on the board as we start the fourth quarter, 49 to 9. Georgia Southern leads over Savannah State in the opening game of 2013. Savannah State with the football after the free kick from the Eagles who gave up the safety. It'll be Zach Hutchinson at quarterback, second quarterback of the day for Ernest Wilson and the coaching staff at Savannah State who have struggled so far today offensively. First down and 10 at the 39, Hutchinson in the pocket, has time, scrambling to his right. Now he'll tuck and run, crash down as he crosses the 40 as Kyle Olbeck brings him down quickly just beyond the 41 yard line about a yard and a half game that is it and Savannah State struggling so far on the night as I mentioned offensively and you take a look at their total plays 40 plays 134 yards one interception offered up 11 of 27 passing 127 passing yards but they finished with just seven net rushing yards so far in this ball game. I know that Coach Wilson has the air raid assault, but I don't think seven yards rushing is what he's looking for in a 49-9 lopsided loss. Here's an interception at the 45. Eagles pull it away. It's Valdon Cooper. He'll twist inside the 30. And finally brought down by Savannah State at the Tiger. 34-yard line. He got to the 35 and spun backwards. Valdon Cooper, second interception of the season for the Eagles, second interception of the game. And that time, Valdon just read the eyes of Hutchinson, planted down middle of the field the ball hit him right in the numbers well Hutchinson as soon as he took the snap was staring exactly where he was going to throw it Val just squatted waited and stepped right in front great INT gets Georgia Southern the ball back at the 34 yard line first down 10 now at the Tiger 34 Kevin Ellison back on at quarterback Eagles will send out two receivers one to the left side two to the right single back set Ellison has Hunt on a wing to the right side on first down and 10. Give to Hunt, little misdirection. Hunt running downhill, far sideline, 15, 10, 5. Put an Eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Torrance Hunt, the transfer with his first rushing touchdown of the season. His first touchdown as an Eagle. And much like many of the Eagles tonight, absolutely shot out of a cannon. Somehow tiptoe, tiptoes down the far sideline, gets in for the score to make it 55 to nine. Beautiful run by Torrance Hunt. Good blocking around the left side there. And even our receivers, our wide blockers did a good job as well. Alex Hanks on for the point after. Coach Munkin said he would use a number of specialists so far. He's been true to his word. Here's Hanks. Kick is up. Kick is good. It's 56 to 9, 1401. Just 59 seconds off the clock here in the fourth quarter, and the Eagles extend their lead. This will be a media timeout. Looking for the first victory on the season in this 2013 campaign. Their final in the FCS, their final in the Southern Conference. They'll play St. Francis out of conference next week here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium with a kickoff at six, six o'clock. They'll go on the road on the 14th against the Wofford Terriers before having a week off, two weeks off here in the 2013 campaign. Coach Munkin Terry has talked about in the offseason 
When people have asked, what are you playing for? Coach Munkin says, we play to win because we wear the blue and white. And the mission this year has been seek and destroy. A couple of weeks ago, we watched a video that the staff at Georgia Southern on Secretariat winning the Breeders or the Triple Crown. Mm -hmm. The final race, neck and neck to the back stretch, and then winning by 21 links. Coach Munkin wants to leave no doubt that the Eagles football wise are ready to move up to the FBS and that's really been the mission and the challenge to these boys in blue and white the seniors laying the foundation as did many years ago over 32 years ago laying the foundation for this program. This is what the seniors are playing for this year and that's why the standards are no different than they were a year ago or 30 years ago. And, and and that's the relentless pursuit of excellence that is symbolic of Georgia Southern, both athletically and academically, which is why student athletes come to Georgia Southern in all sports, because they know they have the opportunity to earn a championship ring and earn a championship diploma as well. The Domino's Pizza Drive Delivery presented by Domino's Pizza, proud sponsors of Georgia Southern Athletics. And uh, folks, Domino's open late tonight. Give them a call. 912-681-4326. This drive summary is going to take me all of, um, I don't know, eight seconds. Hunt, 34 yards, one play. Put an eagle six on it. 56-yard gallop, 56 to nine, Georgia Southern. As it looks like Hanks is getting the chance to kick off again. Started off the ball game. He kicked three or four off and put three of them in the end zone. Hanks tees it up at the 35, kicking left to right. Slight breeze in his face with 14.01 to go. Here's the approach and the kick. High end over end will be fielded at the three yard line by Daquan Daniels. Three returns in the game. This time finds an alley near side. 30, 35, and then slammed down at the 36. A flag comes out from 20 yards away. Back There's judge obviously saw something. Allen Lee laying the blow on special teams. <laughs> Hanks doing a good job kicking off, and so is the return. return. Well, but I have to say, Hanks, Holy his hang time has number been good tonight. He's of the return in the end zone as well. Ten yards it's, from uh, spotted a foul. First down. Two miscues on the field goals. Pretty good job with the kicking game tonight. Folks, you get the opportunity. Go to ringsanddiplomas.com to learn more about our student athletes and what we're doing there. Shotgun snap, Hutchinson in the pocket, in trouble, under duress, gets it loose. Swing pass right side, connecting to Daquan Daniels, who makes it to the 30-yard line, five-yard pickup, sets up second down and five. Again, Daquan Daniels, Statesboro product, tons of highlights as a Statesboro Blue Devil, now making his college career at Savannah State. 13-27 to go here in the fourth quarter. Eagles up 56-9. Last meeting between these two teams came in 2010. 48-3 the final score. Hutchinson out of the gun. Two receivers left. Two to the right side. Short side of the field. Here's a little option pitch out to the right. Daniels trying to make room up across the 35 on the far side. He'll pick up the first down. Looks like he got about six and a half yards. Looks and like he got the away Tigers with happy to move the chains and keep the offense on the field. That was a weird looking option play. And that pitch had better hang time than most of my punts. Georgia Southern 448 yards on the ground on 55 carries in tonight's game. Just 16 rushing yards for Savannah State. Total offense Eagles at 483. Savannah State 149. First down 10 at the 42. From the Tigers own 42 yard line this time thrown behind the intended receiver Simon Hayward same play he's been successful with that time Hutchinson on the crossing pattern threw it a little bit behind and it's incomplete sets up second down 10 at the 37. The surprising thing for me on the defensive side of the ball is we have most of our starters still in the ball game if not all. 
with 12.37 to go in this ball game, leading 56 to nine. Second down, 10 at the 37. Offense off to a slow start here in this first contest of 2013. It's hard to believe if you're just tuning in 56 to nine, but two scoring opportunities went awry in the opening quarter. Two missed field goals as a swing pass Sheldon Barnes far side. Picking up another five, maybe three yards, they'll say. He only makes it to the 40, so a three-yard pickup. Third down and seven. But after that, Georgia Southern turns it on. But defensively tonight, to me, that's the high point. That's what you're looking for. They have held Savannah State to about 160 yards total offensively through the air and on the ground. And not a lot of highlights for the Tigers. Third down and seven at the 40. Shotgun snap, Hutchinson backpedaling inside the 30. This one thrown away far side. Hmm. Hits the brick facade of Paulson Stadium. Now we'll set up fourth down and seven. Decision time now for Ernest Williams and company. Well, you know, the thing about this, you look at this, this team came in. I know they got a new coach and they installed the offense early, but we kept expecting some air raid of an offense. And if anything, it's been far from an air raid offense tonight as we sent our punt return unit out there. Savannah State has completed 13 of 32 passes, thrown two interceptions, 136 yards total, and they have 16 net rushing yards as Bryant stands on his own 31, 30-yard line, ready to receive the punt. Bryant back, John Barron will attempt his ninth punt of the night, averaging just 29 yards, and before he can kick it away, flags come out. And it looks like delay of game. That'll be the 14th penalty of the night for Savannah State. And that typically happens, as I said earlier, for a first game. You compound the fact that Ernest Wilson and company have been on the job for a little more than two months at Savannah State. You can almost expect to be penalty riddled, and they have tonight, as we said, 14th penalty of the evening. At this rate, they'll have more. Delay a game. Penalties. Number 43 of the kicking oh, team. Then rushing Five yards, yards for the entire night. Remains fourth down. 14 penalties, 16 yards in total offense rushing. So Savannah State struggling there, just one of 12 on third down efficiency. And, you know, let's, let's be real here. Uh, coaches did a good job defensively calling good blitzes, good timely blitzes. John Barron, the punter away for the ninth time tonight, stands at his 20-yard line. Jonathan Bryant back at the Eagle 35. High snap. Barron, quick kick. Gets it away, spiraling kick, Bryant stepping up. He'll field it at the 40 in traffic. Hit immediately and drop there. They'll give him forward motion to the 41-yard line. That's where the Eagles take over. 11.42 to go here in the fourth quarter of action. 56-9, our score. Find out how you can earn a Georgia Southern degree on your schedule. Visit georgiasouthern.edu slash online. It's flexible, respected, and online. Earn your degree from Georgia Southern University from anywhere in the world. Eagle offense comes on the field. Kevin Ellison will be the quarterback. Zach Walker will set up as a wide receiver. Far to the left side, William Banks will be your B-back. As Banks picks up a towel loose on the floor and tosses it in the backfield. They'll have trip receivers. That's that shotgun one back set here. Four wide for the Eagles. Ellison out of the gun, quick fire. A little off the mark, looking for B.J. Johnson, the sophomore out of Woodruff, South Carolina, the former Wolverine. 6-1 at 209. Excellent program out of Woodruff, South Carolina. Willie Varner, one of the more successful high school coaches in the history of high school football. Woodruff, a legendary program in the Palmetto State. And B.J. Johnson getting a chance to get in the lineup there. That one off the mark from Ellison. Sets up second down 10 from the 41-yard line again. Stacked receivers to each side. Ellison looking to throw. Near side. Catch is hauled in by Johnson. He's in bounds. They'll say at the Tiger 48 yard line. Nice nimble foot that time by Johnson. John Wilson was on him in coverage. Somehow Johnson gets a foot down for the completion. It's a Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. And he really did great concentration by Johnson to drag that foot, tiptoe it in there, just seeing the replay. First down and 10. Ball placed at the 48-yard line of the Tigers. Two receivers left, one to the right side. Again, single back set. Ellison will hand it off. It'll be Hunt trying to spread it near side. He's dropped in the backfield. Loss of a couple of plays or a couple of yards, three yards, as Micah Blount gets to him. 
That time Hunt just ran in. Savannah State early in this game, Terry, in those first offensive drives, did a very good job of covering the corners, which is very difficult to do against this Georgia Southern offense. Went away from that for a time. At that time, Blount was able to get out there and make the stop. Second down, 13 at the 49. James Dean checks in as the B back as the Eagles go back to the traditional flex bone offense. Ellison under center. Looking to throw, fakes on the option, throws down the seam, catch, going to be made. Monte Crockett hauls it in at the 29. He's down to the 25 and stopped at the 23-yard line. Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Monte Crockett, redshirt freshman out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, has played a well of a ball game so far tonight for Georgia Southern. Crockett with that catch, hauling in his second of the night and has been involved in this offense, helping block downfield. First down and 10 at the 23. Ellison calling for the shotgun snap. Give to Dean. Actually, that time, Ellison holds it, and he's dropped at the 30. And now we have a whistle as Justin Dixon, maybe too aggressive, ripped off the helmet of Kevin Ellison. He's going to be warned. Georgia Southern fans not happy with that at all, but just a warning, no flag comes out. As Ellison pulled it, and, and Dixon just grabbed the face mask, maybe the bottom of the helmet. I don't know that it was a face mask, but got him from the bottom of the helmet and then kicked him in the in the face guard. And Javonta Mobley, the defensive lineman, holds his hand up to egg on the crowd a little bit. Vegas sure Harley checks in at quarterback for the first time on the season. First time in his career. He'll be out of a gun, one back set. Dean on a wing to his left. Give to Dean, off left tackle, and Dean's got room. Or rather, it's going to be Harley. He keeps it down the left side, inside the 10 to the 5. Did he get in? Put an eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Quick hitting play in Vegas Harley. Making it all the way in to make it 62 to 9. Nice play fake by Vegas Harley. And give James Dean credit. Savannah State thought the ball was the middle of the field. They all crashed down, and Harley's loose out on the left side to make it 62 to 9. Connor Tierney on for the point after. One of the best names in college football. Great run. First time touching the ball out there tonight for the Eagles. 9.27 to go in the fourth quarter. Tierney off for the point after high snap. It's put down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. 63 to 9. 9.27 to play. We'll take a timeout. Return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. Georgia Southern all over This will Savannah be a 90 State. second media timeout. We'll return in just a moment from Nelligan Sports. This is Georgia Southern football. Pharmacy with free in-town delivery, online refill options, and even text alerts letting you know when your prescription is ready. Your town, your pharmacy, your choice. Walker Pharmacy, three locations to serve you. It's the official pharmacy of Georgia Southern Athletics. 63 to 9, 9.27 to go. And Terry Harvin, everybody getting in on the act offensively. After a slow start, the Eagles now starting to make a. Well, we were wondering when Vegas Harley was going to make an appearance. We didn't know it was because Ellison would have his helmet ripped off. But Harley gets in one play and makes the most of it with a 30 yard gallop down the left side, fools everybody on the fake. But an Eagles six on it, 59 yards, six plays, two minutes and 15 seconds, and the Eagles up 63 to 7 as Luke Cherry gets ready to kick off for the Eagles. Cherry's kick going far side, fielded at about the eight yard line. Daniels trying to come middle of the field again, daylight. Breaks a tackle at the 25, across the 30. Gets to the 35-yard line before he stopped there at the 36. But 9.18 to go in this game, 63 to 9. Eagles take on St. Francis next week. Same time, same channel, 6 o'clock. Eagles with the 11 opponents on the schedule this year. 11 chances to play, and that will be all. And Coach Munkin has talked about it. His staff has talked about it. It's about winning each and every game, and they'll put their sights on St. Francis probably beginning tomorrow morning. 63-9 our score with 9.18 to play. Hutchinson throws out to the flat far side. Caught at the 41-yard line. Savannah State moving the football as Carlos Cave there for the stop. McDonald on the catch. 
Savannah State trying to hurry up here, moving the plays in. But it's been a struggle tonight offensively. As the clock rolls inside, nine minutes with 8.51 and counting. Hutchinson out of the gun. Single back set, off to the wing to the right side. Two receivers right, two to the left. Eagles with a five-man front, looking to pin their ears back. Here's the swing pass off the mark, looking for Barnes. Far side, it's incomplete. That will set up third down and six from the 41-yard line of their very own with 8.36 to go here in the ballgame. Quick scores from around the Southern Conference. Charleston Southern knocks off the Citadel tonight at the Citadel, 32 to 29. Mercer and Reinhardt tied at 37, by the way, with 30 seconds, 37 left to go in the ballgame, and Gardner Webb leading Furman 28-21 with four minutes to play. Third down and six from the 41. Low snap. Hutchinson throwing out in the flat. Catch made. Did he hold on? No. It's incomplete. Got up on a ladder to hold it and then dropped on his back. And Torrance Smith could not hold on. And again, Savannah State stats deceiving tonight. The receivers not helping their quarterbacks too much as Savannah State wisely brings out the punting unit for the 10th time tonight. And Brian gets back and stands on his own 30 yard line. Savannah State just 14 of 34 passing tonight. Barron with his kick high in the air, not very deep. Fair catch called for, hauled in by Jonathan Bryant at the 33-yard line of the Eagles. And with 8.21 to go, Georgia Southern up 63-9, to looking to cruise on to a victory here in game number one. It's going to be interesting to hear in the Ford locker room wrap-up what Coach Munkin has to say about the performance tonight. You could tell at halftime, not happy offensively. Defensively, you got that sense too? They have, re <laughs> they have really stopped Savannah State. Defensively, it's been a great game for Georgia Southern when you take a look at the stat line and realize that Savannah State has had nothing to speak of. 156 yards of total offense compared to 542 for the Eagles. As Vegas Harley continues to be the quarterback, third quarterback of the day for Coach Munkin out of a shotgun. This time he'll hand it off left side on the misdirection. Torrance Hunt going left side. Stopped out wide. Just about a yard gain, maybe a half yard gain, that's all. With 8.05 as the clock begins to move. Good to see Vegas in the ball game, as we said. Get some more and more of these kids that we can get playing experience. 7.55, clock moving. One back set, two receivers left, two to the right. This time running downhill, Chris Jordan, freshman out of Thompson, Georgia. Moving off the left side of the line. Picks up maybe half a yard, not much gain there. They'll say third down and 10. It's Marky Smith again on the stop. Jordan, one of the freshman phenoms out of Thompson High School, former Bulldog, getting a chance to run. As Harley will move under center, James Dean comes back at B-back. Little fake on the handoff. Now tossed from Harley down the far side. He was looking for showers. Could not connect into double coverage. Safety that time coming over the top for the Tigers. And it's incomplete. Sets so a fourth down and 10. Could be our first punt of the night, Chris. Ryan Nowicki was projected to be the punter tonight. We'll see if he gets an opportunity. And no. Looks like they're going to put Luke Cherry out is going to punt. Luke punted last year for the Eagles. This so much, so much Terry was talked about this year, and I know you would appreciate this as a former punter, former member of the kicking team. Everywhere Coach Munkin went, <laughs> everyone asked him about the kicking unit. And so much emphasis this year on the kicking team as Simon Hayward back deep on the punt. Eagles punt for the first time tonight. This one high into the air, not very deep, far side. It will sail out of bounds. Let's oh. see where they mark it out. It was down around the 40, but they're going to move it up. And they will move it up. Let's wait and see. Oh, my goodness. They will say it's at the 46-yard line of the Eagles. So Savannah yard State punt. will be able to take over possession with a 12-yard net punt 
by Luke Cherry with 7.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. Eagles up 63 to 9. Well, let's give credit where credit due. Je you know, Mora and Adrian Mora and Charlie Edwards, they spoiled us. Those are two great kickers who spoiled us for four years. Again, most of the, it looks like most of the starters are still in on defense. No, I'm starting to see some substitutions coming in. Defensive line certainly getting a lot of reps. Hutchinson out of the shotgun. Spread the field. Lonesome in the backfield. Trip receivers right, two to the left with 7.06 to go. Hutchinson waiting on the snap. Here it comes. Looking right, quick fire. Slings it, sidearmed. It's incomplete at the 40-yard line as he was looking for Chris Drummond. And that one with lots of mustard on it could not be held on by Drummond. No, and William Bussey did a good job of getting in the way. The freshman out of Thompson, Georgia, did a very good job of trying to deflect it there. And I think that hurt the receiver's vision. Second down balls on the 45. Got 7.01 left to go in this ball game. The Eagles cruising 63 to nine. This time Hutchinson again, empty backfield, two receivers right, two to the left. They'll motion a receiver right to left. Here's the handoff. He's gonna try to stretch it near side, hops in the air at the 45 of the Eagles. Cantrell Frazier is dropped. See where they mark him at about the 41. Pick up a four yards. He ran about 30 yards, but only about a four yard pickup. Check in on the sidelines. Patrolling once again, as I said, for his eighth season. Knox Pest Control sidelines. We'll check in with Brian Chambers in just a moment. First, we'll have a third down and seven at the 42-yard line of the Eagles. Savannah State marching down the field, trailing 63 to nine to Georgia Southern. Two receivers right, two to the left. Looking to the right, curl route and complete at the Eagle 37, maybe the 36 by Cantrell Frazier. Short of the first down, but a five-yard pickup. It'll set up fourth down and two here for the Savannah State Tigers. And Ryan, it appears to me that most of Georgia Southern's fans have headed out to enjoy the post-tailgate party. Well, you know, gathering around their radios waiting for the fifth quarter show, which, by the way, you can be interactive with at GA Southern Radio. That's probably where everybody went. Of course. And it's Labor Day, so it's an early start for that. <laughs> Fourth down and two. Hutchinson will keep the offense on the field. He'll take the snap. Here's an option pitch out of a shotgun. They give it off to Beals, trying to get to the first down sticks. It appears that Edwin Jackson forced him wide, and it'll be a turnover on downs as Savannah State comes up empty with 5.46 to go in the ball game, down 63 to 9. And you can almost expect Terry Harvin wholesale changes for Coach Munkin and the Eagles. You wonder if they call the dogs off now. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, don't call it, but just put some kids in and get some experience and work on some things. They have seen everything tonight. You've, you've caught interceptions. You put the ball on the ground. You've had to punt. You are you fielded a lot of punts. You've kicked off an awful line. You had a safety. So, yes, Vegas Harley coming back in. I forgot to do the 50 50 raffle tonight. They're calling the numbers out right now. Big 50 50 raffle was launched today. First down, 10 at the 37-yard line of the Eagles. Harley and the shotgun. They have trip receivers set up. Now they'll give it off to Hunt on the handoff far side. He'll cross the 40, just shy of the 41-yard line, a pickup of three. Set up second down and seven. Clock begins to move, 5.32. Quick score update, by the way, up in South Carolina. Clemson, Georgia in the second quarter. 10 minutes in the second quarter, leading Clemson 21 to 14. Vegas Harley, the redshirt freshman out of Mount Dora, Florida, Florida, played at Mount Dora High School. Highly touted coming into Georgia Southern. Has really done a great job. I know Mitch Ware has been very high on Harley and Ellison. This time Harley out of the shotgun, trying to find some room, looking to run down the middle of the field. Tripped up at the 39-yard line, a loss, or maybe a pickup. Yeah, it's a loss of a yard, and will set up. Third down and eight for the Eagles as we are under five minutes, four minutes, 52 seconds. Coming up, the Ford Live wrap up presented by Ford and your Georgia neighborhood Ford dealers. We'll hear from Eagle players as well as head coach Jeff Munkin. Later on, Brian Chambers and Vic Cabral will take your questions live at GA Southern Radio. 
via the Twitter. That's what all the kids are on these days. And if you kids are out there and you want to tweet your question and comment live, you can do so in the Ford locker room wrap up. Third down and eight at the 39. And before the snap, flag come out as a delay of game. Clocks delay of game. Double C the offense. on the field. Five yards. Fifth penalty Remains on the third line down. For Georgia Southern. Majority coming later in the ball game. Vegas Harley at a quarterback. Some new uh, offensive linemen in there as well. That previous play, nobody tripped Vegas but himself. I think he saw so much green pasture. Chris's feet got excited. Third down, 13 after the infraction. Harley looks to throw. Now will tuck and run. He's up across the 35, the 40, up the middle of the field, stopped at the 45 yard line. Pickup of 11. And we'll set up fourth down and two with 3.56 to go. Great run by Harley. Again, a lot of speed to burn for Georgia Southern as they'll send on the punt unit. It appears that Ryan Nowicki will have the honors to punt this ball away. Ryan came here as a field goal kicker, transferred in. He's out of Peachtree City, Georgia. Stars Simon Mill. Hayward will be back deep for the Tigers. His first time punting as a Georgia Southern Eagle. Stands on his own 30. And we fake it. Carlos Cave. Carlos Cave will keep it. Run down the left side of the field. He's got room. He's inside the 30, the 25, the 20. And finally brought down at the 19-yard line. And Savannah State is living. Ernest Wilson cannot believe it. Hands on his side. He's looking back to the sideline. As Georgia Southern picks up a Franklin first down, they are inside the clubhouse red zone. It's first down at 10 at the 18-yard line. We have three minutes and 10 seconds to go in this game, and the Eagles will keep the offense Good on the field. The well, we needed to work on that, too. You see now the opposing teams, when you go to punt, they'll be watching for that fake punt from here on out. Under three minutes to play. Harley out of a gun, single back set. James Dean on a ring to, wing to the right side to give to Dean. Up the middle on the draw to the five. Dean pounds his way into the end zone. Put an eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. It is now 69 to nine with 247 to play. An 18 yard touchdown, his second of the night for the sophomore out of Brunswick, Georgia. Plays defense, plays offense, runs over you, runs around you, jumps through you. Good to have those kind of players. Connor Tierney on for the point after. The Eagles have struggled in the kicking game at times with field goals and punts. Knock on wood. They've been good with point afters. Here's the snap, set, kick on its way. And the kick is good. 2.47 to go in the fourth quarter. 70 to nine our score. Georgia Southern all over Savannah State. We'll take a timeout. We'll return to Allen E. Paulson Stadium in just a moment. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern football. Sponsor of Georgia Southern Athletics, a fake punt. Carlos Cave rambles down the field, field, gives Georgia Southern another shot at it. And that all Dean needed was 18 yards as he himself ran over the Tigers into the end zone, put an eagle six on it. Georgia Southern takes a 70 to nine lead and then Squibb kicks it up the middle on their kickoff by Luke Cherry in Savannah State. Chris looks like they're gonna get started on the 24 yard line with 242 left to go in this ball game. 609 yards of offense for Georgia Southern on 76 plays from scrimmage. 163 for Savannah State. On the ground, 534 for Georgia Southern. And Coach Jeff Munkin right now not leaving or not taking the foot off the gas with 242 to play. First down and 10 at the 24. Again, 16,528. In attendance to see this opening game of 2013. Zach Hutchinson in it relief at quarterback will throw this one. And he throws it right into the arms of Jake Ellison on the defensive front, putting it right in the numbers, incomplete, looking on the right side. And it'll be second down of 10 at the 24 yard line. Let's go down on the sidelines and Knox Best Control sideline report. And Ryan. People have left to celebrate here, and if you're Georgia Southern, probably still working on things 
that you're not that, happy with so far in this game. That's one way. That's one way you can do it. I mean, you got four quarters of football, and you play four quarters of football, and you got to get better. Hutchinson, shotgun snap, second down, 10 at the 24. Buying time to the near side, eventually unloads up around the 33, looking for Morris Smith, the junior out of Decatur, Georgia. It's off the mark and incomplete. Sets up third down at 10 at the 24. And Brian, this place was about 17,000 yeah. full. And yep. again, with construction, the grass you know, is taken away. But uh, the Eagle fans, I think, folded up the tents pretty early after you hit the 63 mark. Well, one, one thing that you'd mentioned was how packed it was with the 26 minute delay. Georgia Southern in Statesboro in this region, again, has always been famous for late arrivals. So you, 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 you push it back with a lightning delay and you get 26 that you get 26 late and this place was full. But, you know, score score indicative, you know, and everyone's headed to the house or headed to the radios again for the fifth quarter show, which again, by the way, at GA Southern Radio, at GA Southern game. Radio. Coach Number 15 is the offense. We'll take all your questions and comments, and we will uh, have it all for you here in the fifth quarter show coming up here from Paulson after what looks to be a very big win for Georgia Southern. Never above a shameless plug. No. Nonetheless, we Ryan hope you underscore Chambers, <laughs> at Ryan underscore Chambers, if you're looking for more of the entertainment factor. Delay a game. Delay by the game offense. Chris. Five Call. yards. Remains third down. Called against Savannah State. That's number 15 tonight. And they have 18 yards on the ground rushing. But I tell you, again, I, the, the Savannah State offense never got traction, but that band, boy. They never, they just don't stop. Just weave in and out. I was telling Bear, it's like a Pink Floyd album. It just kind of goes in and out of the game and it goes high and low and loud and soft, but it just never stops. After the penalty, third and 15, back at the Tiger 19 yard line. Hutchinson slinging the ball far side, looking at the 35 for Edward Lackey Jr. out of Dallas, Georgia. It's incomplete, and the clock begins to move with 2.21. They'll stop it as Savannah State looks at fourth and 15, and now will punt it away. The Eagles, Kyle Olbeck tonight, five tackles, two solo. Edwin Jackson with five tackles. Those are the leading tacklers defensively. For Savannah State, how about... Micah Smith, 12 tackles tonight. He's been all over the wow. field trying to stop the Eagles. Tavarius Ashford, 11 tackles as John Barron puts this one high into the air. Knuckleball kick fielded by Bryant. He'll backpedal at the 45 of his own, get to the 47 before he's dropped there. And the Eagles take over possession with 2.09 to go in this ballgame. Eagles will move to 1 0 on the season. They'll take on St. Francis next week here at Paulson Stadium with a 6 o'clock start. I don't know that it's a perfect game. Coach Munkin talks about attaining, trying to get perfection. Did not happen. A couple of great possessions inside Savannah State territory early in the game resulted in missed field goals. But the Eagles offense warms up eventually as Vegas Harley will keep it out on the left side. Harley with room. Helmet comes off the Tigers and Harley still on his feet. Flag comes out inside the 30 25. Harley out of bounds at the 21 yard line. But we have two flags on the play out on the wide side of the field. We'll see what it's all about with a minute 57 to play. But Harley showing his speed out on the corner. And if I understand this particular ruling correctly, not only is a penalty maybe on the helmet, but he kept playing. And that is the ruling. If your helmet comes off and you continue to pursue, there's going to be a flag thrown on that, and he continued to pursue. So we'll wait to see what they say on that. And he clearly did. That's very dangerous. Um, so much emphasis and discussions have been talked about with concussions. In fact, Georgia Southern now one of the leaders in the field. If you saw that uh, report on NBC Nightly News that time, but, uh, yeah, very dangerous. The helmet came off his head. I don't know why it came off, but it did. And he continued to play in pursuit. I believe it was Alfred Ansley, the sophomore out of Jacksonville, Florida, whose helmet came off. He continued pursuit. And now the officiating crew meeting up at the 40-yard line to discuss. Coach Munkin waiting the answer out at the 45. Still a discussion with a minute 57 to go, but it appears to be exactly what Harvo says it will be and that will be continuing to play after the helmet comes off. We know that Ainsley has to step out for a play but now the infraction comes 
as to whether or not he engaged in the play and now they continue to talk and we'll get an answer coming up in just a moment from our referee out of the Southern Conference Thomas Graham it looks like they're backing up the Eagles so maybe that did not come into play Thomas Graham will tell us all about it here in just a moment. And it's inside two minutes, Chris, where the helmet comes off. That's a whole nother piece. There of is no foul for an illegal block. However, there's a personal foul. Number 27 of the defense, he participated without his helmet. That penalty would be added to the end of the run. First down, Georgia Southern. And I have to go, I don't have it in front of me, and I apologize I don't, but there's also another piece of that ruling that inside of two minutes that uh, there's something that goes with that as well, so. So Georgia Southern knocking on the door. Savannah State once again leading 70 to 9 with a buck 57 to go in the game. V Vegas Harley, one of the great college football names out there. The ball spot of the 10, Chris. One of the better names, exactly right. In college football, Vegas Harley on first down and 10. Eagles can get a first down at about the one yard line. Harley's looking for pay dirt here. She works out of a gun. Hunt on a wing to the right side. Hunt will get the call up the middle. Hunt inside the 10, down to the five. Stop just inside the two yard line as the clock begins to move. 90 seconds to go in this ball game with the Eagles up 70 to nine, looking to go one and zero on the season. Eagles ri rise up quickly. Harley shotgun snap. This time the handoff left side. It'll be Chris Jordan and the freshman from Thompson, Georgia goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. He'll make it 76 to 9 with 118 to play. Jordan, the freshman out of Thompson with his first collegiate rushing touchdown. The Eagles extend the lead. You remember, Chris, the um, the movie y'all watched, Secretariat, and at the end he ended up winning by 21 links. As Alex Hanks comes out for the extra point, we've seen basically all the kickers tonight except for the uh, new freshman. I haven't seen him yet. Alex Hanks on for the point after. Kick is on its way, and the kick is good. Eagles extend the lead 77 to 9. 118 to go in this ball game, and Georgia Southern rolling on to victory. One to nothing. A 1 0 on the season, I should say. Just one minute, 18 seconds away from celebrating their first win. Wow. Talk about celebrating the first win. Uh, quick shout out to Mercer right up the road to Macon, Chris. They got their first victory in their college football program. Offensive uh, big win, 40 to 37 at the end of the game as they knocked off Reinhardt. Vegas Harley comes in, leads the Eagles there into the. The score with Hunt, the transfer, the graduate that came in, his second touchdown on the night. Eagles take a commanding 77 to 9. The theme coming in this year was leave no doubt. Foot on the gas. And I think it leaves no doubt tonight. Where Georgia Southern's mindset is offensively is a rough struggle, but then they put it on the Domino's Pizza Drive delivery. Presented by Domino's Pizza, proud sponsor of Georgia Southern Athletics. The Georgia Southern Dominoes is open locally here very late tonight. 912-681-4326 in Statesboro. You can always go to dominoes.com. Five till 10 o'clock tonight. Tailgating is going to be on, so you can always call them to uh, deliver you a pizza or something. Terry, you mentioned keeping your foot on the gas. I think Georgia Southern tonight would leave a Prius on the side of the road. 84 points, the highest score Georgia Southern against Johnson C. Smith back in 2004. And the Eagles just seven points away from that here, 77 to nine. That leads Savannah State. Luke Cherry will tee it up at the 35, kick it away left to right. Savannah State may put their hand on the mat, ask for mercy, we'll see. This time, squib kick down the middle of the field. Far side hash fielded by the Tigers and dropped at the 33 yard line. Chris Drummond able to hold on to it here. Got a quick final from around the Southern Conference, folks. The Purple Paladins. 21, Gardner Webb, 28. Wow, tough one there. Citadel loses to Charleston Southern 32 to 29. Elon 
Elon didn't show up. Georgia Tech 70, Elon 0. So it was a rough night. And Montana takes the early lead in the second quarter. Defensive struggle, 6 to nothing over App State. First down, 10 at the 33-yard line. Hutchinson stands in the pocket tall, throws up to the 46, looking for Chris Drummond. He could not hold on. He got a late flag coming in, maybe pass interference over the top. And Terry Harvin, you are so dramatic when you give those scores. You had me on the edge of my seat. Did I had you there? Well, I just, not everybody expected that one. I mean, we already got a surprise with UT Martin knocked off the the conference leading Chattanooga Mox 31 to 21. Don't forget about the holding number 10. Oh, what a call. That's the hold occurred on an eligible pass Georgia receiver is 10 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Is that Sanford knocked off Georgia State? Good job. I mean, Sanford. Vegas didn't see it that way. But okay. Congratulations, Sanford Bulldogs. Yes, we win. Good for the Southern Conference. Who would have ever thought Sanford would have got an FBS win before they ever got to the playoffs? <laughs> it's maybe their year. First out and 10 after the infraction. Hutchinson on the draw. Up the middle is LaReginald Beals. Gets across the 45 up to the 47 yard line. We have a minute left in this ball game. Eagles up 77 to nine. We invite you to stay tuned for the Ford locker room wrap up. Russ Brown will step in. He'll give you the full game stats. Take a look at the highlights. Get your scores up to date from around the country. And then Ryan Chambers and assistant coach Vic Cabral will take your questions and comments via Twitter at GA Southern Radio. Second down seven. Hutchinson throws across the middle. Looking for the crossing pattern. Looking for McDonald. It's off the mark incomplete. And with 33 seconds, clock is stopped with third down and seven at the 47-yard line. Stop the clock. That makes sense. Great job today by Russ Brown and Frank Solkowski down at the Citizens Bank tailgate show. Great tailgating opportunity. I know everybody had a good time. And Frank and Russ doing an excellent job. Here's third down and seven at the 47. Hutchinson throwing corner far side. Catch made. Hauling it in in front of the Tigers is Roosevelt Isom. Give it to the Tigers, not giving it up, Chris. He picks up the first down, stops the clock for 28 seconds. That'll be a first down and 10 for the Tigers. Just their second conversion on third down tonight out of 16 attempts. Savannah State go on the road to Troy, Troy. Alabama to take on Troy University next week at 6 o'clock before playing their first home game on the 14th against Fort Valley State. First down 10 at the 36 of the Eagles. Hutchinson steps up in the pocket. Left side brought down from behind at the 38-yard line. Georgia Southern collapsing the pocket. Lenny Richardson. Lenny Richardson with the stop. He's out of Turner County, Ashburn. Ed Cunningham, old boy, I play football with. Timeout, Savannah, Savannah State, State their second timeout. Time to the dismay of Georgia Southern fans. Coach Wilson calling the timeout with 16 seconds to go in the game, down 77 to nine. Eagle fans ready to begin the post-game celebration and they'll have to wait a couple of more minutes. Special thanks, Chris, if I may, to some of the great folks that stepped up to the plate in Macon, Georgia. So we're able to get Georgia Southern on the radio throughout the mid-state. On the Heritage Station over there, WBC News Talk 940. Uh, Mike Carpenter, a local attorney, and Ben Bolcom at Cabinet and Millwork. Appreciate them. And of course, Wild Wing Cafe, Com South out of Hawkinsville, and Macon Occupational Medicine, as well as my good friends at El Sombrero. True Blue Eagles stepped up to the plate to make sure that. Eagles Nation, Eagle Nation in the mid-state would be able to hear us on the radio. 16 seconds to play in this game. Second down 12 at the 38 of the Eagles. Hutchinson slings this one towards the end zone. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Incomplete down at the three. He was looking for Lackey, the senior out of Dallas, Georgia. Pass off the mark, and 11 seconds remain in this game. Again, stay tuned for the Ford locker room wrap-up. Full game stats, highlights, scores from around the country, and later on, a chance to integrate with Ryan Chambers and Vic Cabral. And who could ask for more? I can't wait. Can I tweet in, Chris? Sure you can. I appreciate that. 11 seconds to play. Hutchinson split backfield, one receiver to each side. 77-9 our score. 
just trying to finish this one up here at Paulson Stadium as Hutchinson steps back slings this one easily picked off at the 15 yard line by Steve Williams the transfer from Pittsburgh gets across the 35 to the 36 yard line flag down at the 16 it says triple zeros but we can't end a game with a flag so hold the phone here is Steve Defensive. Williams making his presence known. It may be uh, the way they're acting it must be on the defense so. Not sure how. Steve Williams out of Savannah Georgia the sophomore as I mentioned during the return illegal block in the back by the return team. Foul ended on the last play. Get him in. Ball game. Game is over. It's in the books. Georgia Southern winning 77 to 9 over Savannah State here in the opening game of 2013. Savannah State, Georgia Southern meeting at midfield as this game is all over with. The Eagles now move 10 and 0 all time against Savannah State. And they set their sights on St. Francis that will make their way to Paulson Stadium out of the state of Pennsylvania. Coming up next week with the kickoff time at 6 o'clock. Final score again here from Allen E. Paulson Stadium, Georgia Southern 77, Savannah State 9. Much more to come. We'll return in just a moment. This is Eagle Football from Nelligan Sports on the Georgia Southern Radio Network. <laughs> 